ever. This is the hardest fought battle I have ever seen in an elimination. This is my 16th season of the challenge and I have never seen anything as brutal as I witnessed tonight. Okay, boys, today you're playing T-Bone. As you can see, we have two giant dirt half pipes dug out of the ground with an intersection in them. Now, this could get ugly. Now, each transition of the half pipes has a rack with five balls in them. Each player is going to have one rack. So when I say go, you're going to grab one of your team balls, you're going to run down your transition, and run up your partner's transition. If you run into each other, well, that would suck. Your goal today is to take all five of your balls and get them to your partner's rack as fast as possible. You can't grab your teammate's ball. If you do, you'll have to run back and return it. First team to transfer all 10 balls, win tonight's elimination round, stay in the game, loser goes home empty-handed. Now, for Johnny and Tyler's team. Johnny, you got the yellow balls. Tyler, the black ones. CT, you got the blue ones. Adam, red ones. Okay, boys, let's get it done. Good luck. This game is gonna get dirty. I think players are gonna bleed. They're gonna get injured. I mean, this game looks deadly. All right. Make it happen, man. You know, me and Tyler obviously have a little bit of um, unfinished business with uh, CT there. So if I beat him, it'll be epic. I don't need any more ammunition or any more fuel than I already got. They're gonna get tired. Don't think too much. No, I'm gone. Don't make it too quick. We're trying to score. There's very little strategy in this game. It's about speed and, and, and speed and more speed. And I'm faster than Johnny and Tyler. The only thing that will slow me down is getting rocked. Don't worry about them. Oh, yeah. Watch, watch. If we can see them, great. It's about you just get in and out. Yeah. Okay. All right. As soon as they get in the middle of that pit, everyone's getting laid out. I feel real good about this elimination round right now. I'm, me and Adam are faster. We're more athletic. I'm going to truck through that place like a train. Everyone's getting rolled. Oh, finally, I get to do something when I get to put my hands on people. Clutch time, baby! Woo! Here we go, Adam! Quick and easy, up and down, real quick! Everyone stands in the way, they're getting flat! Come on, team, blow that whistle. Woo! Two, two! All right, boys, ready? Yeah! Whoever wins this is going to the final challenge. Johnny's ball, you gotta take it back. Go, Tyler, you're ready. Adam, that's CT's ball. You gotta go back now. What are you doing? Adam, please do not do what I think you're doing. Hey, hey. I don't know why I did this. I, I completely f up. Hey, you guys are totally winning. Oh, no. So hard, you're winning. Oh, Tyler, right? A bad. A bad. There you go, Tyler. Hey, play the game. Play the game. Play the game. I have no idea what Adam's doing, and the only thing I can try to do is try to give him some more time by punishing the other team. So I saddle up, lock, load, explode. <laughs> I've never been hit that hard in my entire life. I feel like I just hit a freight train going a thousand miles per hour. This is the closest match I've ever seen in challenge history. It comes down to one ball. Adam and Tyler are gassed. Go! Adam's just not moving. It's like it's happening in slow motion. It's chaotic. All these guys look like they're in a world of pain. 
Oh my god, get up, Adam. This should have been so easy for us. Hey, can we have some water? We did it. We did it. We did it. Johnny! You did it. I'm so proud oh, of you. Boom, oh, mother... Yeah, Johnny! Ah! <laughs> Words cannot describe how we feel. Euphoria. Karma. 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 I like Retribution. It. Lowest point ever in challenge history for me was getting carried out on uh, CT's back. And today, for me and Tyler to uh, pull up maybe the biggest upset in elimination history, you know, speaks volumes about what happens when you combine the two of us into one entity. I knew this is a good thing, man. <gasps> Regardless okay. what happens from here on out, Tyler, me and you Thank have you. absolutely killed it. I love you, man. I love you too, dude. I feel like crap. I didn't expect this to happen, and I just don't want this to be the way that I say goodbye to him. Say something, Adam. Well, it's only a matter of time before I drag you down. You didn't drag me down? Yeah. Don't say that. You see, the cost is that game, man. You know it, I know it. I can't even look CT in the face right now. I know we lost because of me. He knows we lost because of me. If I were CT, I would want to kill me right now. I'm proud of Adam. He gave me everything he had, and I can't get mad at him for trying. It just wasn't on time, it wasn't meant to be. I just don't really know what to do. I don't know how to handle this situation. Like, I know how I feel when I lose, and I don't really feel great, and I don't feel like I want to touch people, so I'm kind of just giving him some space. Good, how are you doing, Thank you, John. Um, we tried, brother. Tough game. Well, that's how an elimination challenge is supposed to go down. Congratulations, Johnny and Tyler pulling it out. Yeah. Nice work. The underdogs got it done. Nice work, boys. <laughs> go ahead and rejoin the group. Underdogs, the I take offense to that. <laughs> Two, times. Yeah. Two times. Johnny and I's relationship has really developed over the years. Not only have we buried the hatchet, but we've grown to be almost brothers. So to win the jungle with Johnny even tightens that bond. And it makes us really believe that we can really win this entire challenge. All right, Adam CT, this ends your time in Argentina. Unfortunately, it just wasn't your day, but for sure, we'll see you in the future. Yeah, man. All right, brother. Take care of yourself, man. Have a good one. It's sad to see Adam go, but you know what, Adam? I had a blast with you. You are the goofiest guy I think I know, but you have a smile that melts my heart. And I'm sad that we won't spend the rest of our time together here, but we are friends, and I will definitely see you soon. Even though we made it to the end without getting to the final, I've had so much fun. I jumped off a waterfall. Wow! Yeah! Smashed the car. Wait, white water rafting. Maybe made a new friend. You gonna be my buddy yet? So you think we're friends yet? You gonna be my friend now? It's just me and you now, buddy. I am the luckiest kid in the world. Coming into this challenge, I didn't know how CT felt about me. I don't know if he even regretted what happened to Duel 2, but being CG's partner, I know that he genuinely regrets what happened to Duel 2, and I forgive him, and I hope he forgives me. No, we can still be friends, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, tonight you're playing balls in. As you can see, there's a giant circle in the middle of the elimination area with a goal in the center. To begin, one player is going to play offense, and one player is going to be defense. 
offensive player's goal is to score that ball into the barrel. The defensive player's goal is to prevent them from doing that. If the defensive player tosses the offensive player out of bounds, or the ball falls out of bounds, that ball is dead. At the end of five rounds, whoever scored the most points to win tonight's elimination round, stay in the game. Loser goes home empty-handed, got it? Yep. All right, guys, we're almost at the end. Make them count. Good luck. I know me and Jessica have had our issues, but um, I don't care who I'm going against, I'm just gonna play my game the way I can play it and do the best that I can do personally. I kind of look forward to going against Cara Maria because she is a good competitor, and if I win, then I'd be a good competitor. All right, girls, ready? Go! Oh. harder than I thought it could be. We're both throwing our entire bodies into this. This is a brutal elimination. Grabbing me by my helmet. Really? I'm raging upset. I'm frustrated. And I've just, I've had it. All right, girls. You ready? Go! <laughs> Jessica is showing up and showing out today, and I'm proud of her. She's making car work for it, and I think people underestimated her. Oh no, not in my house, not now, not happening. It's all right, you gotta stay lower, Carrie, you gotta stay lower. Score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. Jessica, you ready? Yep. Car Marie, you ready? Go! <laughs> Come on, Carl, let's go. Pick it up. Let's go, two. Let's put one in there. All right, girls. Score still 0-0. Zero, zero. Ready? Go! <laughs> As Carmen Marie is getting up, she's kind of holding her hand, and uh, I've taken a stinger in the knuckles before too. That one will get hurt. Okay, so after two rounds, score is one nothing. Car Maria, ready? <laughs> Not only is Laurel being obnoxious, but she's not cheering for Car Maria, her best friend. She's cheering for Jess. Laurel has proven again that she's a poor sport and a pretty terrible person. Gotta go for the ball, Car Maria. Go for the ball. <laughs> Car Maria is clinging to me like a baby panda, and I'm just gonna use her as a little backpack and just get up and get to that goal. <laughs> Jess, don't throw it in the hoop. Put it in there. I hear, come on, Jess. Go, Jess, you got it. There's my lovely ex-best friend cheering on her new best friend. If looks could kill, Laurel would be dead. Carmaria doesn't need any extra cheers tonight. And we're not speaking, so I'm rooting for Jessica. All right, the score is still one nothing. You ready? Jessica, you ready? Go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Jessica's putting up a real good fight. It's just gonna come down to who wants more at this point. The score is still one nothing. Carmaria, ready? Go. Karen, do not let go of her. There you go. 
I don't even know what's going on. There's hands, feet everywhere. I am using any means necessary to get this ball away from her because I will be damned if she makes this point. Marie, you're up. Nice job, Kara! Nice job, Kara! Nice job! All right, the score is one nothing, Kara. Kara, you score this one, you win. You ready? Go! <laughs> Carl Maria, got it done. Great job. You win tonight's elimination round, you're still going for the big money. Go ahead and rejoin the group. Hey. Go ahead. Jessica, it is what it is. You ran into a monster in the elimination round. Sure did. Unfortunately for you, this ends your time here on Free Agents. Take care Thanks, of yourself. Thanks, Jessica. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't upset. Um, I'm really disappointed that I'm going home. I'm proud that I got this far, but I just know next time I'm going to have to train harder and put up more of a fight. That was a wicked tough match. And now that I'm standing there, something isn't right with my hand. It's aching and throbbing and so painful, I pretty much want to cry. You're OK. It's it hurts really bad. Stand. Just some ice should be good. Okay. I'm thinking right now that I definitely need to go see a medic. All right, Jordan, you're up. Bam, bam, bam. All right, Bananas, you're mine. Wow. <laughs> Jordan would have better odds going to Vegas, throwing 125 grand on red and winning. This might be the biggest mistake Jordan's ever made. Jordan, I've seen it all. Looks like it was your lucky day today, Preston. Leroy, oh. go ahead and rejoin the group. Oh. Yep. What an idiot. <laughs> oh, wow. There's definitely a clear uh, line that's been drawn in the sand in the house. I think Jordan's going to have to pay the piper really soon. So uh, may the best man win. I told Bananas I'd be the one to send him home, so I have to do it. 110% my pride and character is worth $125,000, period. All right, boys, ready? We can feel the tension in the air. Oh my God, this is gonna be one of the biggest eliminations in challenge history. All right, boys, ready? <laughs> I'm just throwing hands left and right, just blowing through this drywall like butter. It's neck and neck. And all I can think is go. It's just pull, 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 step. <laughs> then I make a mistake. Holy <laughs> holy Down goes Jordan. Wow. Oh, get up there. Oh, one more. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. I've won quite a few eliminations in my time. None more gratifying than that. That pompous little arrogant bitch asked for it, and I brought the thunder. You know, missed a step, and I went down. That was the biggest bonehead move I've ever seen, dude. One way or the other, we're making record books. Kahuna, what, what was that that she said about the bulldog and the chihuahua? Johnny, stop. Another solid performance. Nice work, Bananas. Go ahead and rejoin the group. You're still in the game. That was a pretty cocky thing, man, to flip all those cards over like that. Yeah, well, I said I was going to do it. Can't make myself a liar. You got served tonight, bro. 125000 bucks out the door, all right? Since your time here in Free Agents, I'll see you soon. Bye, Jordy. Am I going out the way I wanted to? No, not even close. But how do you stack up one hundred twenty-five grand of pride? It's worth it. Laurel, it sucks that I'm going to cut our time short. But I know you're going to do great. Just keep your head on straight and go win this thing. He's gone. He literally walks off, and there's no goodbye. I just, I'm, I'm shot. I'm. <sighs> All right, I'll see you guys at the next challenge. Get some rest. I love you, TJ! 
You're welcome. You're welcome, everyone. Thank you. All right, next up, we got Tori and Cam. Let's go. Yeah! I'm just coming in for a little bit. I've dominated every time I've been in a red ring. And poor little Cam, you know, this is her first season, so I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to send you home so early. Cam, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take you out, get mad! I was not expecting them to bring in these vets to go against us, but hey, I am paired up to go against Tori, so I know this is about to be one hell of an elimination. I am not ready to go home, so losing cannot be an option. All right, girls, you ready? <laughs> Scores one nothing, Tori. Cam, you gotta win this one to stay in the game. He goes ready. Hold it, one hand. Hold it, one hand. Now I'm starting to see the relationship that Cam and I have in the house is kind of weird. She's the only girl that's in my alliance. We've never even spoken game. I think it's just obvious that she's my number one and I'm her number one. as an assassin. That's just all I'm here to do. I'm not here to win any money. I'm just here to f with everyone else's game. Hold up. Killer Cam is out now. I'm ready. Cam, body her. Girl, you better give it, because I ain't going to give up. All right, girls, the score is one nothing, Tori. Cam, you got to win this one to stay in the game. You girls ready? Go! Scores one to one. Next point wins. It can go either way now. Whoever wants it the most, they ain't gonna send me home on my first elimination. You girls ready? Next point wins. Girls ready? Go. Ah, y'all be sending me home. Ain't nobody was sending me home on my first elimination. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> She's back in the house. It feels so great to have won my first elimination. I know a lot of people probably thought she would beat me because I'm the rookie, but I definitely proved myself tonight. You better start listening, girl. That was not easy, and you got to give it up for Cam. She definitely showed up, so it's nice to see the challenge, you know, filling up the house with strong females. Let's go, girl. Let's go, Wes. This is your game, E. I've been waiting to prove to everyone that I can take a strong competitor out. Wes, sorry that you gotta be the guy that gets the bear of this bad news. I'm facing a scary, huge dude, but if I beat him, that's gonna shut a lot of people up. All right, boys, you ready? Oh, hey. Go! Good hell. It's like a train going through that hall. I think Big Easy rung the bell with Wes's head. Oh, oh, yeah. I hope that Wes is thinking when I'm slamming his head into my bell, oh, Big Easy is for real. Yeah. Big Easy! Oh, I get my butt kicked in the first round. Wes, three rounds, Wes, three rounds! I don't know what to do, but I need to think quick. All right, guys, it all comes down. Stay in the zone, baby. One more, baby. One more, let's go home. Fresh meat. Win this one, it's over. 
Wes! Go, Wes! You gotta win this one to stay in the game. Go, Wes! You boys ready? Let's go! Let's go! obvious I need a new strategy so I hug the ground and let him run over me and turn it into a track race we did it we did it out the boy Wes you got this he got it no easy got it this is looking too close and I am biting every nail off my finger I don't know who's got it he doesn't deserve to be here he can't even climb a rope He's gonna suck at everything. Wes is just showing what kind of class this ass he is. Well, Big Easy pretty much stands there, cool as a cucumber. So stupid. All right, you guys. We came down to photo finish. And it was by two tenths of a second. Come on. Really close. Wes? Big Easy got it. Two tenths of a second, I'll take it. The new air started right here. Good confidence boost to start this game off. Sorry, dude. Good job. Good job, you got it. I am completely flabbergasted. I'm just not absorbing this. So proud of you. Congratulations, Car Maria, Eric. You guys absolutely killed it tonight. Nice work. Go ahead and rejoin your season. This is going to help us. We're a team, we trust each other. I don't want to come back here again. All right, Wes, Lacey, unfortunately, just wasn't your night. This sends your time here in Turkey. Have a good one. Pleasure, pleasure. Here, Joss, you're up, let's go. Joss has no idea the hell that's about to be brought upon him tonight in this ring. I don't know who any of these people are. I don't give a Derek, he looks like a little squirrel. I'm gonna put this guy through his paces. Well, it feels awesome to be back as always. I didn't think I'd be here as a mercenary. So now I gotta fight off the challenge bull. I've never seen him before. I have no idea who he is. I'm gonna do all the guys up here a favor and beat the out of Joss. All right, Joss, Derek, you guys ready? <laughs> I think getting rid of Joss is gonna do everyone a favor in this game. I mean, we've seen the guy run up the rock of Gibraltar without taking a breath. So he is gonna be a huge roadblock for all the guys in this game. I think Derek might have met his match. I see a future vendetta. These two will either become best friends after this or never talk to each other again. All right, guys, you ready? Derek is seriously the most intense elimination I have ever seen. It's hard to watch, but it's hard to keep your eyes off. Someone could get hurt. Someone could die. <laughs> like, this is no joke right now. Let's go, get the hands on there. Let's go, boys. All right, boys, you ready? I don't think 
Joss was expecting this. The fight that I've seen from Derek, this guy has zero quit. Ever. This is the hardest fought battle I have ever seen in an elimination. I've never met such an angry little person in my life. He is the most stubborn little Rottweiler, but I'm here to win, so I got this. been here for like an hour and I mean, these warriors are just not wanting to give up you guys this battle is way too good i haven't seen somebody this evenly matched in a long time so we're gonna hang that eight it's gonna be sudden death first point wins it all comes down to this john don't worry you got this stop playing <laughs> Both these guys are just absolute titans. Neither one will quit. I think they're both in a tremendous amount of pain, and I actually start to feel bad that I voted Joss into this. And if he wins, I'm gonna be in a bad spot. So I'm just hoping that he doesn't come back. Come on, Joss! Because you went out of bounds, you'll need to reset in the center of the ring. Joss, you got this! Joss, let's go! You guys ready? It's just round after round after round, and these guys are absolutely beating the out of each other. It's like a street fight, and neither one of these guys is gonna ever give up. All right, guys, you ready? Joss actually thinks it's over, but what he's done is he's left the ring and for, uh, Derek left the ring as well when he hasn't. So Joss is f***ed up yet. That's it, that's it. It was my bad I lost. I thought we weren't out the ring. I let go, he scored. But you know what? He put up a good fight, and so did I. So I went out with the ban. Derek, you're a monster. The fact that Joss is out of the house is amazing. This is my 16th season of the challenge, and I have never seen anything as brutal as I witnessed tonight. They could have given Joss a baseball bat and said, beat the out of Derek for a half hour, and Derek would still have not given up. We got to get rid of him without getting our hands dirty. Holy that was close. I oh, know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It was a pleasure, man. Me Thank too. You. Joss, incredible fight. I don't mean to sound like a cocky dickhead, but um, you're a big mother and I got you. We're bruised, we're battered. You got some awesome slams, man. I would just put that on the list of one of the best battles of all time, challenged history. Maybe the best. I came here to beat some ass, and I did. It was fun. Joss, you did so good, baby. Good fight, Joss. I feel like today was like a scene off Braveheart. 
I guess I underestimated those vets. I thought I was going to smash them all over the park, but he proved his point that he is the legend that he is. Bro, when I tell you, bro, what you did tonight was incredible, man. And hopefully, I'll be back again. All right, guys, welcome to tonight's duel. Yes, Derek, come on in. Obviously, it's better for me if Wes wins because Derek always votes for Kina. So if we slowly, one by one, pick apart these veterans, we have an incredible chance of winning. All right, Wes, Derek, tonight's nice duel. It's pole wrestle. You guys seen this before, but I'll break you off with a little rules real quick. All right, you must remain on your knees. If you guys lay on the ground for any length of time, I'm going to reset you, so try not to do that. And the circle is basically just out of bounds. I'm going to restart you in the middle. Wes, you're going to grab the pole first since you were voted into tonight. And then you're going to alternate grips. And as soon as you guys are ready to go, I'm going to say go. And then you're going to wrestle that pole away from each other as hard as you can until one of you guys, first guy to get the pole, win tonight's duel. And we'll be staying here and we'll receive a Seiko watch. The loser goes home. All right, it's, uh, it's all or nothing right now. Let's get you guys laced up and good luck to both of you. This is my second duel, and uh, I'm feeling all right. I know how to move around in a small space, in a circle. I've done it a couple times. I'm good to go. It's two solid competitors versus each other, and, I mean, it scares me to death. Derek definitely has a history of beating bigger people, but the thing is, I've also got a history of never losing. All right, guys, come on in here. Just remember, no punching in the face. Keep it clean. Go ahead, Wes, take your first grab. And now will be the most intense, most gory, most bone-wrenching. You're going to see tears. It's going to be a bloodbath in the duel tonight. All right, guys. Ready, set, go. All right, stop, 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 stop. Come on, reset, reset. Come on. Let's go grab it. Come on, come on. Go. Get down on your knees. Hey, hey, hey. All right, stop, stop. My forearms feel like they're about to explode. This is intense. I am starting to sweat. I'm starting to bleed. Oh, this is not fun in any way, shape, or form. Go! Wes looks like he's got a little bit more juice than Derek does. I mean, every time TJ breaks it up and resets them in the middle of the ring, it takes Derek just a little bit longer to get to, to the middle to grab the pole. All right, come on. Let's go, guys. No rest. Come on. Come on, guys. Grab that thing. Let's go. Go! <laughs> It's just really hard to watch because they're both basically about to kill each other. <laughs> I hate it. You don't. Stay on your knees. No, you don't. Come on, boys. Come on. Oh, my God. I tried hard, but my hardest wasn't good enough. You know, today, Wes is the better competitor. Physically, I'm just dead. I think we felt a really fair fight, and I cannot tell you how much I respect him right now. I seriously want him to be like the godfather to my kids. All right, guys, I've done a lot of these challenges, and I've never seen an elimination round like that in my life, so congratulations to both of you guys. That was sick. All right, way to go. Um, Wes, you're still in the game. Still going for the 150. Got the Seiko watch. Back to the crib. Rejoin the crew. I'll see you next challenge, no doubt about it, man. Congratulations, you killed it, man. You deserve it. D, I didn't want to see you like this, man, but you know how it goes. You got 20 minutes, man. You're a true competitor as usual. You got a lot of heart and hustle. And uh, take care of yourself, homeboy. All right, man. Have a good one. Rest of you guys, see you next challenge. Get out of here. Let's go. Will this poor boy ever win a challenge? Will he ever be there in the end and be able to show everyone that he really, really deserves this money? Because if anybody deserves it, he does. Come on. 
Don't try to make it. It just sucks that my support system is gone. Hi, buddy. I want to f hug, dude. Good luck. You have no idea how much I respect you right now. Money would have been good. You know, to just walk away from here with nothing, you know, is it disappointing. I lost. You know, I didn't even make it to the final round this time. I lost midway. I'm gonna go home and reevaluate what I want to do with my life. Congratulations. You are safe from elimination. These girls cannot do anything right. Guess who's left to do the dirty work? Now, which girl are you gonna send into the elimination round to go against Kayla? Jenna. Oh! Oh! Nice. The plan to put Kayla in worked out great, but now that Jenna's a new target, I feel really guilty about the situation, but um, it's a dirty game, so that's the way the cookie crumbles. Well, first I'd start off with this. I did her a favor the first challenge. She shouldn't even be here. Jenna, there's two girls left over there. Which girl is leaving the game? Latoya. Okay, so Jemmy, you're saved. You I owe, owe her. her one. I know that. You owe her. I, <laughs> I don't owe anyone in this game anything, Jenna included. She just stepped me in the back and put me in. Cold. Oh. Oh. Jemmy has just crowned herself the the grimiest, dirtiest broad in this game. If anyone here ever thought that Jemmy had a pulse. They're dead wrong. It's either choose Jenna and go along with the plan they started. We could play this safe game all we want, or but eventually it's gonna be a bunch of strong people going against each other. Our deal with all of them makes the most sense right now for me. It's a dirty game, TJ. A very dirty oh, game. Oh, oh. She did it, she did that. She's a lying, backstabbing bitch. Okay guys, tonight you're playing The Great Escape. As you can see, there's four giant walls here in the center of the Presidio. They're 20 feet tall. Your goal today is to use those climbing picks to search out the holes on the walls. Once you find the hole, you're gonna put the pick in there, climb that wall all the way to the top as fast as you can. Now here's where it gets fun. At the top of each wall, there's giant troughs full of mud. Whoever gets to the top first, gets to push over that trough and watch their opponents get wet and dirty. The clean one wins this game, guys. Good luck, make this happen. This should be fun. The ladies are up first. Good luck. I'm completely blindsided. Jemmy throwing me in last second is just really shady. But Kayla's a little badass. I'm a little nervous to go against her, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna suck that one of us is going home and the other one's not gonna be there for the other one, so. Here we go, ladies. It was a dirty move on Jemmy's part, and I don't know if it was the right move to make so early, because she's got the rest of the game to play ahead of her, and I think Jenna feels the same way that I do. It's gonna suck, but I have to go in there and do what I have to do. Um, it's more than just an Alliance member. She's one of my best friends, but um, I gotta do what I have to do. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. All right, girls, you ready? Both these girls are gamers, and Jenna just has this amazing ability when, when it comes to game time to just focus and do what she needs to do. Step the wall a bunch of times to find this one hole. It's really tiring. Find a hole. It's gotta be around there, Jenna. I want Jenna to win. I don't think she's as big and as bad as everybody else says she is, so it's not a threat to my game. My forearms are starting to get sore, and I'm panicking a little because I feel like I'm taking forever to get the pegs in the wall, and I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. Go, go down. 
Kayla is frazzled, 100%. She didn't want to be going up against her best friend. I think that's really messing with her head right now. Come on. Jump. Grab two, go. Come on, go, go below it a little. One, two, three. Go. Yep. No, nope, keep going, you're good. Go on, go on. Oh, you're OK. Right. Now, up, up on your left leg. up there. There you go, right there. So it sucks that everyone is cheering for Jenna. Pretty much everyone showed their true colors, and now I hate all of you. Right there. There. Now jump down, Jenna. Jump down. Grab two. She has no hand hold. No, Jenna. Keep going up. Come on, Jenna, you got it. I have a really sick happiness inside me to see best friends go against each other. I mean, it's a dirty game. It's great. I love it. Find that hole. Kayla's upset because once she got voted in, two, she had to go against Jenna. Now Jenna's going home and she has to live with us. I'd be kind of pissed too. I won, yeah, great. I get to stay in the house, but I uh, just sent my best friend home. So um, I'm like a free agent, one man band now. I love you. The majority of the house is rooting for her. I don't trust a single person over there. I didn't think Jemmy was gonna do that to Jenna. So definitely lit a fire under my butt. And uh, I have absolutely no choice but to go back in the house play a dirty game also, and win as much as possible. Good job. Well, unfortunately, I'm leaving Kayla. The end of the road. But, you know, she's coming back. <laughs> 10 times matter. I have to. She's trusting nobody. She's going to kick ass. I have to win for the both of us. Hey, we sent a man home, so. Yeah, that's okay. true. <laughs> I might <laughs> <have to> win. <laughs> well, brother, it's no surprise. I'm public enemy number one. You know, it's been like that all season. I mean, you can see that the house wanted me and Hunter to go against each other. He's coming for me the same way I'm coming for him. And at the end of the day, we're still going to be friends. So may the best man win. This is my first true elimination, and I got to go in against one of my best friends in the house. It sucks. I knew it was going to happen. I think they're all pussies. Jordan, I'm coming for you. When I win tonight, I will do everything in my willpower to send you home. Here we go, guys! The goal tonight is to climb up the ladder, but your ankles are attached to chains connected to heavy weights. As you climb, you'll have to use your leg strength to pull the chains and weights through a series of floors at the bottom. The first to make it all the way to the top and ring the bell will win tonight's elimination round and stay in the game. The loser goes home. All right, boys, you ready? Go! Yeah! been my number one since are you the one i love him to death i don't want him to go home he completely has my back a hundred percent in this You're good on that one. Come on, Hunter, go. i'm going i'm not paying any attention to corey i don't want to look over there i want to focus on what i do i need to pick up the pace a little bit i feel like that i'm through some of the drywall and i'm not moving up Watching Corey and Hunter go at it, I don't want to see them go against each other, but this is the dirty 30. All I can do is cheer for both of them. I'm obviously pulling for Hunter to win this one. I think if Corey loses this, it's going to just be another nail in his unimpressive elimination record.
agenda. Since you guys have the power vote, you guys are going to break that tie. So which team is going to be playing in tonight's Armageddon? This is going to be a show. Zach cannot say Tony's name. Amanda cannot say Ashley's name. So what are they going to do? We're going to go with Ashley and Hunter, Keej. No, we're not doing that. My vote is for Tony and Bananas. So now what? OK, well, here's the deal. All right, you guys go ahead and discuss it and figure it out. Go I'm ahead. I'm not budging, so there's nothing to really discuss, honestly, TJ. Everybody thinks that Zach runs the team, and this time, I'm not going to let him. OK, cool. How about this? Go ahead and tell me within 10 seconds, or else you guys are playing. Tony and Bananas. Nope. Yeah. No, yeah. Ashley and Because you I'm already, actually, I'm already, the already, one. Excuse already, me. Already, excuse already me. You already made the decision. Shut the up. Shut the up. With your big ass mouth for five seconds. I don't feel safe. Anyways, I that was, was I not the, was I not the? I, I, I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm at like, what? He's risking a million dollars right now. Is he being a good friend or just an idiot? Even me, Johnny Bananas, I didn't even see this this coming. I don't think Amanda believes that this is actually happening. I said Ashley and Hunter. If it's not Ashley and Hunter, then it's going to be us. I'm wearing my street clothes, TJ. What are you talking about? Like, I'm, I'm safe. I won the challenge, don't you remember? Amanda, come on down. Jaws drops. Damn. This man is about to jeopardize his coin for y'all. Which one of y'all are going to step down here and say, no, don't worry about it, we'll go in? Maybe the right thing to do would be say you no, know, get back up here, I'll go in. But you giving me that gift, man, that's something I can't return. Maybe Hunter and I should step up to the plate, but I don't know what to do, and the only thing I can see right now is $1 million. My vision is blurred. Amanda, Zach, how do you guys feel about this? What's going on right now? I'm ride or die for Tony. That's the only team I got left in this game. She's got all these friends. I got one. And if she can't understand that, and I'm, I'm standing with my decision. Zach is toxic masculinity at its finest. He says that he's throwing himself in as a noble cause, like he wants to nobly help Tony. But the reality is, is Zach is a child throwing a fit. That is not a man leading a noble cause. Zach and Amanda, you guys are playing in tonight's Armageddon. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Devin, you were on the worst team at the last challenge, and they voted to send you straight into the ring. How do you feel about that? I'm here tonight to win this, get a grenade, come back with a vengeance, and to make sure I'm not on a losing team again. No one expects me to come out of that ring tonight. Best case scenario, I get to send home my arch nemesis. Let's go. On the other hand, the best team formed the Troika, which was Zach, Kayla, and Tony. You guys, as the Troika, had to choose three guys to bring into the Inquisition, and you chose Leroy, Bananas, and Nelson. You guys got to pick Zach. Who's it going to be? Nelson, I'm really sorry, man. My vote's going to be for you. All it takes is one more vote for me to go in against my boy Devin. I definitely feel like I'm going in because I do not have an alliance with none of these guys. Kayla, how about you? Nelson didn't say my name last week when I went in against Marie, so I'm not going to say him. Uh, I'm going to go bananas. All right, so that's one for Nelson and one for bananas. But it all comes down to this. Tony, who's it going to be? Bananas, since I started these things, man, you know I've basically looked up to you. I've learned a lot from you. And I think if you were in my position, you'd make the same choice. Me and Nelson, we haven't had the best past. So I'm sorry, Nelson, but uh, you're going to have to wait a little longer to go into elimination, buddy. Bananas, my vote's for you. I could just feel the steam coming off Bananas' face. He is pissed. Not only am I shocked, TJ is probably shocked. The people that are home watching this right now, I'm sure you guys are shocked. And I'm just like, I just can't believe it. It's Tony time. Got to pull the trigger. Tonight, Tony went from hero to legend. Heroes will be remembered, but a legend will never die. And Tony just cemented his place in challenge history. Let's go! 
Johnny, I might consider you a friend out here, but you're not coming before my family. And whatever I got to do to make sure uh, we're maintaining our lifestyle back home, I'm going to do. All right, big move from Tony. Bananas, come on down. This decision is 100% on Tony. He needs to take ownership for it. And uh, he better believe in the future he's going to. You can ask Corey. Unfortunately, Corey, this is your time here in Spain. You can ask Victor. This person definitely came in a little hot. I'm going to be going with Victor tonight. There's also this girl named Sarah that you can ask. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the money and run, Teej. A banana reaction is one hell of a reaction. Devin, looks like you got your wish. Who's going to make a play today? The rest of you guys are off the hook. Troika, go ahead and rejoin the group. This is the moment I've been waiting for for a long time. We are finally going to see if Bananas just barks and can't bite. All right, guys. Tonight you're playing not so bright. To begin, you're each going to start behind your podium. Then when I say go, you're going to push the button, which will in turn light your board up. You're going to notice that some of the lights are not lit. You're going to have to memorize those lights, run over to the board, and turn those lights on. If you hit the switch of a light that's already on, it will turn off, so pay close attention. The first person to completely light their board top to bottom will win tonight's elimination round and stay in the game. It's that simple, but it's that hard. Loser goes home empty-handed. Good luck, you guys. They definitely found the one challenge that is gonna level the playing field for Devin and myself. Tony, this is a big move, and this is either gonna be a huge move for him beneficially, or this is gonna come back to bite him in the ass. Tony has granted me my one true wish, to send bananas home in a fiery ring of lights. I'm not scared of bananas. Why would I be? He's an old man. He's probably not even gonna be able to see the board. Hope he brought his glasses. All right, guys, you ready? I am gonna break this puzzle into six different rectangles. Hit the buzzer, memorize one rectangle, light it up. Come back, hit the buzzer, memorize another one until my board's lit up and Bananas is going home. This is the first time ever in an elimination I have not heard a peep from the people watching. I have no idea how Devin's doing on the other side. It's very difficult to tell who's leading and who's behind. Quick, 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 quick. So, yeah, I couldn't do this. Oh I, this one. I would be horrible at this. I'd be terrible. <laughs> I can't even remember two seconds ago. Who's winning? <laughs> who's winning? <laughs> I don't know who is winning, and I'm so confused. But I'm just hoping Devin manages to inch it. I know I can beat Devin at everything except puzzles, and Johnny can beat me at everything. So now is the time it needs to happen. Come on, come it's just on, a come memory on. game, isn't it? I'm looking on the banana side of the board, and it seems like bananas has more lights lit up. And I'm like, God, man, did I make the right choice? Did I make the right choice? I'm freaking out at this point. I'm sitting on the edge of my seat the entire time. I don't know who's gonna win. They're seriously so neck and neck. There's a huge possibility that Bananas is going to come back in this game and I could, you know, be screwed. Everything's getting more and more lit up and I really do start to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I've got maybe two more trips to this board and I think I'll finish this entire thing. The first person to light their entire board, will win tonight's elimination round and stay in the game. Yeah, let's go, baby, let's go. This is so close. Come on, Johnny, come on, Johnny, you have to be quicker. Devin looks like Dustin Hoffman in Rain Man. He is locked in. Feeling incredible, credible. Can't get on my left from my level now. You could be the devil, the devil, but look who's untouchable, but look who's untouchable now. Feeling incredible. Rock it in. Get on my left from my level now. Rock 
Lock it in. Lock it in. You can see it in their eyes. These girls are sweating. They're staring each other down. They really want this. Ready? Go! grabbing me, elbowing me in the face. Like, this is not a clean fight. If you're gonna elbow me in the face, then this is the kind of game we're gonna play. Pull away, Kara, don't let her get behind you. There you go, pull, pull, Kara, you're strong. Kara is actually super, super strong for such a small person. Kara has, like, crazy big arms. Pull, pull her elbow out of here. What was it, Bill? It's getting really scrappy. There's some blows to the head with elbows. They're digging in for the long haul. They're holding onto that thing for dear life. Hey, no, watch it, watch it. Hold it right there. Hey, no, watch it, watch it. Anissa is pretty much just sitting on Kara, and Kara's trying to pull away, and she's getting gassed out, so it's a pretty good move on Anissa's part. Pull away, Kara. Pull away, Kara. <laughs> Stronger, huh? Carmaria finally sees the opportunity because Anissa had one hand on the bar and she just pulls it away from her. Ah! All right, that's one. Jamie's the most annoying person. Who's stronger? I can't stand his voice, so you're stronger than her. Shut up, Jamie. I'm just so over him. I really didn't see this coming. I thought Anissa had this in the bag. They're both giving it their all. It all comes down to this. You have all that built up anger. Use it. Scores one nothing. Carmaria. Win this one, you're going to the finals. Anissa, you gotta pick it up. I lose this, then I'm out of the game. It's just a matter of how dirty she's gonna get. So I have to give it enough to take this out of our hands. You girls ready? And then there's, you're in the moment, and you have no control. I don't care what position she puts me in. She could have her legs around my neck for all I care, but I am not letting go of this bar. Yeah. I love you, okay? No bad blood to anybody. I am even more excited and more thrilled to be in a final that I fought my butt off for, literally. He won against CT, I won against Anissa, and then we both won against Johnny. So we earned our spot here and we're not gonna take it for granted. I just wanna run that final and I'm so glad to have you by my side. Our family's gonna be so excited. We're on to the final now, that's all the that badness. I love you, cuz. <laughs> I did not want to go against you. I did not want to go against you. This is your jam. You're a tough, thick, strong bitch, and this is what you're good at. So that was an honor to go against you in this. I'm sorry for everything, you know? I love your cousin. When we're away from the crowd, and the time is right. What she did today made me extremely proud. We didn't come out going to the finals, but I only look at her and hope that I can be as strong as her. I'm just so incredibly blessed to have this time with her. Stop. That was a very good fight. You both gave it your all. Carmen and Jamie. You guys win tonight's final elimination round, which means you're going to be joining Corey and Mitch, Jenna, 
and Brianna in the final challenge worth $350,000. Go ahead and rejoin the group. All right, Anissa and Rihanna, unfortunately, you lost tonight's elimination round, so this ends your time here on Battle of the Bloodlines. Take care. Thank you. All right, ladies. Tonight, you're playing Branched Out. As you can see, there are two giant trees right here in the center of the proving ground. Your goal is to scale this tree and ring the bell at the top. There are 21 branches. You have to use all 21 branches. Climb all the way to the top, ring that bell. First lady to ring that bell will win tonight's elimination round, stay in the game, and go for the big money. Loser goes home. Laurel going against Ninja tonight is going to change the game either way. No matter who wins, there is going to be a huge swing in momentum. If this was an earthquake, we'd be at a 14. And so early, it's insane. Good luck, girls. Thank you. Good luck, girls. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. I am feeling like maybe I'm the underdog. I'm pretty sure she does this in her spare time. I'm hoping that my height's gonna be some sort of advantage. I'm going to make sure that I look at every peg and try and plan out what I have to do. And I'm hoping that that's enough. The challenge gods have rented me with the thing I love. Laurel is responsible for throwing me down to the proving ground, whispering around, trying to get this train of everyone to vote me down for reasons that are beyond me. If I don't win, it's going to be a huge embarrassment, and I'm ashamed to my whole Ninja Warrior community. It's like Christmas. All right, go ahead and take your positions. Let's go. I am 100% rooting for Ninja tonight. She doesn't deserve to be down there. And with all the politicking and secret alliances going on, I hope this proves that when you try to be sneaky, the snakes get voted home. This is your playground, Ninja. We love you. There you go. Focus, focus. Come on, Laurel. I am 1,000% rooting for Laurel. She's my friend. She's my ally in this game. And of course, I want her to come back. Girls, you ready? Go! Stop, Laurel. Oh, no, no. Stop this, Laurel. There you go, big step. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Okay, you got it, Laurel. You're okay, you're okay. Let's go, Ninja. Keep going, Laurel. Come on, Ninja. Don't panic. The hardest part is how different our strategy is. If we're gonna carry more poles or carry less poles and go faster. The risk of carrying more poles in your hand is you could drop that and you could totally screw yourself over. Put them in your harness, put them in your pants. I'm not a stranger to elimination, so I mean, it's not a big deal. Good job, Laura! People are expecting Ninja to do so well, but she's not doing really any better than I am. There you go. Keep going, Keep going, there buddy. you go. I'm expecting Ninja to literally climb this tree like a monkey. But lo and behold, Laurel is actually outpacing her. Laurel actually is going to have a fighting chance at, at, at beating her. Good job, girl. Keep moving. Keep moving. Either Ninja's not that good of a climber or Laurel still got it. Because this race is really close. Come on, Ninja! Come on, Ninja! Come on, Laurel, play! Come on, Laurel, play! Yes, Ninja! Nice, Ninja! Keep going! Everything else that's at stake. I came here to compete. I always come here to compete. Come on, one more. If Laurel comes back, 
angry, more in control, more untouchable, more unapologetic. I'm screwed. Yes, Luke, come on in. can't find it. I don't have the proper hole, or I missed something. So I'm freaking out because it's coming down to getting this last peg in and hitting that bell. I'm looking over, and I have no freaking idea where it is. We can't find it, Lord, go! Honestly, flabbergasted. I cannot believe Laurel just beat Ninja at her own game, especially because Ninja was really confident coming into this elimination. How embarrassing. Oh my God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 at the top, baby. You kind of the bed if you're a world record holder because I'm definitely not a world record holder. You're gloating beforehand, and then all of a sudden, I beat your ass. It's a game you're supposed to kick my ass in. Don't you dare say that I have bad sportsmanship when you started this There's no holes. What the There's no holes on top of this. In the tree. She stabbed the, the, the truss. No, sorry. That's the way it goes in the challenge. I finished first. I finished first, and you all know that. No, there's literally, oh. You missed it. You missed it. She has an extra hole. Yo, uh, um, Kit Rules, now. she did not put it in now. the hole. You gotta work she with what you got. You, you gotta work with what you got and you did it. Um, Rules, do you see this? Okay. Ninja. Oh, oh, oh. 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 What's going on? She missed the hole. There is a hole. Come on, 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 there's a hole right there. There's a hole in the top for a purpose. Oh, we just stuck it in the top. Whoa! Whoa! It's okay, just get down. Yeah. 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 Wait, what? Yeah. What just happened? TJ, clear this up for me. I'm literally dying. Please tell me what just happened. What happened? What happened? What happened? Before you talk, Laurel, keep reading it. That's, oh my gosh. Wow. Damn. Woo! No. We play fair. That's what we do. No. You see that? You missed that hole right there. With the Kung Fu. All right, ladies, that was a very, very close elimination. Laurel, you rang the bell? So I blew the horn because you didn't have any more branches left. Exactly. And then after the tapes were checked, you did not put all the branches where they belong. So, unfortunately for you, this ends your time here. Jenny has a whole lot more muscle. She could crush the life out of anybody here with those quads alone, quad goals. No matter how much I believe in Tori, there's still that little bit of anxiety knowing that size is definitely a factor. Come on, baby. Just truck through this girl. Come back to me. All right, girls, you ready? The 
impact that Tori has on Jenny is actually scary. I feel like Tori has given Jenny whiplash. I'm trying to move her and she just slips past me and I just think, run, she's gone. What was that? That was a tie. There you go, babe. Mm. I don't know. That was a I don't know. Tie. Are they checking the tapes or what? I think they're checking the tapes. Good work, Tori. This is so close. I don't even know who's won this first round. TJ's left the proving ground to go check the tapes. That's how close it is. We checked the tapes. Two tenths of a second separated that point. Tori, you got the first one. Yes, girl. I literally cannot believe that I won that first round. I mean, I thought I was toast, and right now I'm feeling like I have a chance. Keep it up, Tori. You got Put this. Put it away. Tori, you win this one, and you're still in the game going for the big money. Jenny, you got to win this stand. Not one part of me wants to go home, but I've got bigger things and bigger reasons for me being here. I want to make everybody proud back home. I don't want to be able to prove myself. Come on! Go, nice and low. Rise and relax. This game comes down to heart, and my fiance is standing over there, so I'm not going to let anything come in between me and him. All right, girls, you ready? Let's go! Go! absolutely runs over Jenny. Oh my God, there's a new choo-choo in town and her name is Tory Train. Woohoo, buddy! She hit her so hard, I myself. I felt it. Wow, wow. I don't know how I've got knocked over and I'm just grasping at things to stop her. She's trying to pull me with her hands, and I'm like, nope, nope, gotta go. Excuse me, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go ring a bell. That's how you do it, baby. All these dumbass bitches don't want You want me back out of this game? You want me back out of this game? Get out of here with me. Every single person in the stands is shook. I could not be more proud of Tori. Going up against the most feared girl in the house and not just beating her, demolishing her. Every single person in this alliance is now scared for their lives of Tory Deal. Get out of here with me, pussy! Bitches. I'm sorry that had to be us, Jen. I love you, girl. I love you. Oh, I can't win. I literally can't win is how I feel right now. I just feel I feel frustrated and I want to punch something. That's how I feel. Tori, screw you, go home. That's how you play to win. Congratulations on a great elimination round. Jenny, unfortunately, you lost tonight's elimination round, so this is your time here on the challenge, but you've been a pleasure. Thank so, you so much. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Jen. 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 like a mother. He's like a little frog. Hold it, CT. CT's the last one to go, and he has the hardest job of all because he has to hold on, keep his feet up from dragging on the sand, and do it for a minute. So please hold on. Hold that You guys are beautiful. Good, Good job, CT. Good job, guys. You got a lean body, baby. Good. I look over at CT, and his feet are a centimeter above the sand, and I'm thinking, if you drop, I will kill you. Pull off my favorite pose, crouching Buddha, hidden Yoda. Four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, next! Kill it. Team Devin came and we conquered. I think this is my good luck wig. I'm excited that we won. Team Devin, don't mess with us. Start swinging. Adam, go, go. Two, three, go. Come on now. Bad boy, your feet. Jump, boys.
Come on, ready? And... It finally dawns on me, we have to swing together in unison so that both of our weight is suspended. It's not really all about strength. It's all about communication and working with your teammate. Guys, hold the bar! I'm really starting to question whether or not putting in Evan and Nehemiah against CT and Adam was the right move because they're absolutely in bed right now. Come on, one more. That's it. One more. One more. This challenge comes down to core strength and teamwork. And Evan and Nehemiah don't have it, especially Evan. He looks like a beached whale out there. One more, ready? One more. One more. That's all you, Adam. Evan's plan backfired. We took a little power away from the mob. How do you like me now? I'm still here. All right, 10 minute round for the win. CT Cara Maria versus Louie and Lolo. Ready? <laughs> I'm finally fighting to win money for my charity. Like, I am just prepared to fight in battle to the end. <laughs> Lolo really losing ground right away. CT is such a bull, man. Come on. Walk together, guys. Lolo, get closer. I can't. Get it down. Man, those grunts by CT are scary. Walk together, walk together. Been a strong. Let's go, Black. Anchoring in right now. The champs have about five yards to go and they win this team challenge. Look at Lolo fighting. Look at Louie fighting. They got endurance, man, and they're proving it. We beat the pros. We beat the pros. You guys don't make anything easy, do you? guys. Boston strong, huh? Yeah! Finals! Yes. All right, boys, ready? There's so much riding on this elimination round. CT has been sent in uh, by me, and I know that if he wins, he'll probably be coming back with a vengeance. One more quick stride. I am flabbergasted. All I see is drywall and smoke fly through the air. This drywall, so every time I'm reaching for it, it's just ripping, and that's not looking good at all. But it's also happening to CT, so this gives me faith. Good job, boys! Come on, lead on. Keep it moving, keep it moving. I'm thinking about is that bell. Good job, boys. Good job, Leroy. Good job, CT. Good job. Two time, brother. It's close. Oh, it wasn't like I got murdered. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Good job, boys. My worst nightmare has just uh, come true because CT is coming back to the house. Still got it. Looks like this guy still has plenty of gas in the tank. CT, go ahead and rejoin the group. You're still going for the big money, man. See you when I get home. As much as everybody would want me to go home, it's not going to happen. Uh, I've proved myself time and time again. All class. OK, guys, we're going to the tiebreaker. So rookies, who do you guys send? Derek. Derek. All right, veterans, who you got? CT. CT. I'm going to have to step up and make a play, because if not, I'm going in anyway. So I might as well just put the ball in my own hands. All right. Come on, baby. Hey, 
be no joke if you win this. So it comes down to CT versus Derek. I have complete confidence in CT. He is not only a really great competitor, but he's out of his mind. Let's go, Derek! I'm feeling pretty confident at this point. You know, I've, I've got to get it done. You guys ready? I keep my hand on the ball from underneath his left arm, and with my right arm, I'm peeling off his other arm. Sooner or later, that thing was gonna pop. walk into this makeshift hospital tent where there is just all kinds of decaying body organs on the table. We're gonna suck it up though. Completely consume all the food or liquid and the number of receptacles. We're gonna complete them in numerical order. You cannot move on until the current item is complete or consumed at the bottom of your final jar. Right. You will find a key used to unlock the cabinet right. inside. Find your idol and proceed. We have to take down a plate full of chilies, pickled fish soup, worms, crickets, and maggots, this fruit called Dorian, and dried squid. It's going to be the worst room of all. Oh, dear. Hot. Swallow my pills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to do it. My entire face starts sweating on the right side, and it just is hurting so much. Everything is on fire. I am the god of hell. Disgusting. Bring you fire. to break this glass. It was nothing, ready? Got it, brother. Wes is having a little trouble with his poop suit, so I uh, step it up and just start chugging it like it's a beer. This stuff is so gross. I didn't want to know what that thing was hanging out of my mouth. Don't even tell me. Don't tell me what that thing was. All right, guys, on your marks. Get set. Go. <laughs> like a mother. He's like a little frog. CT's one of the strongest, if not the strongest guy. He's doing well, and he's kind of going fast. Damn. That ain't no joke, is it? CT had a good run. It'll be close, but I think he grabbed a few more than I did. You got this. You got this. Go, Jenny! Tonight, you guys are going to be playing back up off me. When I say go, you're going to try to drag your opponent over to your own barrel and knock it over. This kid's a monster, and it's going to take everything that I've got to weather his storm. I don't care who it is. I'm just going straight for the barrel. Get this party going. All right, boys, keep it clean. You ready? Let's go! <laughs> CT looks like freaking Godzilla. I've never seen a grown man look so scary in my life. He just gets up and he's doing like this transformer power walk with the Boston Mumble. And he carries his custom made Johnny Bananas backpack to the barrel in about five seconds. 
I can't even believe I'm actually witnessing this. I will tell my grandchildren about this. I'm looking up at the sky, at the stars, enjoying this beautiful night we have here in Prague, only to be rudely interrupted by being uh, dropped onto a metal trash can. <laughs> You can't move forward until you have somebody in the tank exactly. with you. Exactly. As soon as you come into my box, course. then I go. Because you, you you're in the front, you so you don't have to wait for yeah, anybody ahead of you. you only yeah, have to, to be honest, you. I'm nervous about these air pockets. I'm not a fish, but I know I'm going to go out here, compete, give it my all, man, and try not to drown in the meantime. Woo! Um, I'm excited, but a little nervous because I don't know how far they are underwater, the little boxes, and I just hope that the person I'm with is not going to panic and like start freaking out and shake the box around. All right, guys, you ready? Good job, Johnny. It's a surreal feeling. Here we are, submerged deep underwater, and the only thing keeping me alive is basically having my head in a fish tank. Now I know how all those fish at the pet store feel. Nice and easy, Bree. Good job, Rihanna. I kind of peek my head under to see how far down the box is, and it looks a lot further than I thought it was going to be, and I am immediately freaking out. that I DQ'd, but I don't really know how I would have reacted being in a little box underneath the water, so I kind of feel like I'm better off. All right, Brianna, you're out. I just don't see that killer instinct in Brianna. She's about as fearsome as a chihuahua turd with sparkles on it. All right, keep your feet moving. All right, Corey, you're out. Oh, Move, move, move. Let's go. I'm not expecting a whole lot out of Rihanna. She might look like a sea creature, but she sure doesn't swim like one. It's like a nerve wracking to watch. Really? He's about to be in that box. All right, Rihanna, you're out. Go, Cara, go. Come on, Cara, dig, dig. Catch your breath, big breath. Challenge, I'm bailing. I tried. I'm all alone in this box submerged underwater, and that means it's all left up to Abram. This might very well be my swan song. Let's go, Abe. Let's go, Finn. We know we're trying to get rid of each other. I can just reach out, just get a hold of John. All I would have to do is just drown him just a little bit. As much as Abe said that he wants to see me in a pit, I don't think he wants any part of that. Plus, if he threw this, it would totally shoot holes in Abe and Mike's claims of being these upstanding, noble gentlemen that play this game the right way. Strangle him while he's swimming. We've got these GoPros strapped on. We're swimming. There's air tanks. This is cool, you know? It feels like John and I are on some kind of like Navy SEAL mission. I might not escape this time.
Abram, you had your chance. In the most dangerous challenge that you can have, where oxygen is an issue, both managed to pop up unscathed. This was the only way to stop Bananas from doing challenges till he's 60 years old, Abram. You had it, and you didn't take it. All right, red team, you're done. Oh, <laughs> The red team got two players across. I'm sweating right now. I don't think we have this. Blue team, you're up. <laughs> really I'm nervous. I know that both me and Jamie are good swimmers, so I'm confident in that. Vince, he says he's not so sure about this, but I'm still confident that we can do really well. Ready? Everybody was just too scared to dive down seven feet. Your instinct wants to tell you to go to the surface, but you just have to do it. When the rocks finally fall on me. Good job, good job, good job. I see the tanks and I'm like, oh, those are those are a little bit deeper than I thought. Brown fish, the stereotype, I can swim. But do I want to be trapped in a box underwater? Probably not. All right, Anissa, you're out. claustrophobic to begin with, so putting my head in a little box, especially underwater, is going to make me really nervous. So hopefully I don't drown and die. Big breath. Blue team is looking a little bit more athletic today. This challenge is definitely showing that we can get people into our box. That sounds awful. <laughs> to breathe, but it doesn't feel like I'm getting any air. I'm kind of hyperventilating. It doesn't feel natural at all. It's a really otherworldly experience. So I'm waiting in the second air pocket, and time's going by, and no one's coming. <laughs> Down there. Holy All right, Mitch, you're out. That's it. That means Jamie oh, Mike Mike Jamie. is all that's left. The blue team has three people underwater right now, and those three players make it. The blue team's gonna win automatically. What? Are you kidding me? Vince, you're done. Even when Vince tries, he fails. He sucks at everything. Vince is a fail. I think you just suck. Hashtag Vince fail. It's very embarrassing. I don't know how I'm explaining this to my friends.
hard to tell whether we're still ahead or not. I thought they took a longer time, so I, I think we might still have a chance of winning it. so close. A win is so important today because it's guys elimination day. I don't want to go in the pit, so we need to win. I could just feel the steam coming off Banana's face. He is pissed. Not only am I shocked, TJ is probably shocked. The people that are home watching this right now, I'm sure you guys are shocked. And I'm just like, I just can't believe it. Congratulations. You are safe from elimination. These girls cannot do anything right. Guess who's left to do the dirty work? Now, which girl are you going to send into the elimination round to go against Kayla? Jenna. Oh! Oh! Nice. The plan to put Kayla in worked out great, but now that Jenna's a new target, I feel really guilty about the situation. But um, it's a dirty game, so that's the way the cookie crumbles. Well, first, I'd start off with this. I did her a favor the first challenge. She shouldn't even be here. Jenna, there's two girls left over there. Which girl is leaving the game? Latoya. OK, so Jemmy, you're saved. You I owe, owe her. her one. I know that. You owe her. I, <laughs> I don't owe anyone in this game anything, Jenna included. She just stepped me in the back and put me in. Cold. Oh. Oh. Jemmy has just crowned herself the, the grimiest, dirtiest broad in this game. If anyone here ever thought that Jemmy had a pulse, they're dead wrong. The one team who just bought their ticket to the final, and it's the power couple, Sarah and Jordan. <sighs> No more worries. No more somebody possibly voting us in. No more somebody possibly stabbing me in the back. We're there, and I feel like I want to cry. Well done, you guys. Good job. It's time for you guys to deliberate and decide which group you want to send into the elimination against Leroy and Naya. This is a big decision, so who's it going to be? Right now? Yeah, right now. We're going straight to the elimination, the place where I didn't want to be before the final. But on the bright side, at least I know I'm going against the rookies. You know I love you guys. Sarah and Jordan will never say our names. We've been working together since day one. I can't help but sit there and kind of pat myself on the back saying like, hey, you did it, dude. You uh, you picked the right, the right ponies in the beginning of this game. Oh, no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Who's it going to be? Oh, Come on. Who's it going to be? No. Who's it going to be, guys? Oh, All the blood rushes out of my body. It's not going to be easy, and it's going to come at a serious price. I've learned from the best in these games, and the things I've learned from the best have helped them win in the past, and I'm hoping that it'll help me win this time. So the team I want to pick, unfortunately, is Bananas and Nani. You're lying, Sarah. Don't f around. Don't f around. They executed arguably the most calculated, callous, and uh, heartless move ever in challenge history. Bananas has a ton of cash. He's a strong player. He's won six of these. I want to go against him. The Troika will decide three people to go into the Inquisition. I just need to convince the Troika to send in Bananas. Give him to me. You have you one more. Give him to me. Let me beat that and send him home. 
I would go with me. I feel super comfortable saying Banana's name, but I'm not sure if Zach or Tony is gonna take the bait. I mean, Tony has looked up to Bananas since forever. Begging, let me light him up. Okay, Give him to me. You want the Banana Man? Give him to me. Just do me solid. Zach will vote for Nelson. So I really need to convince Tony, because he is the swing vote, that I can beat Bananas. Take a page out of Banana's book. He would do this to you. Let me be it. I'll keep around the idea. Please. Okay. That's all I want. I consider Johnny as like a big brother figure out here. From my first season to now, he's always kind of looked out for me. I'm your boy, I'm looking out for you, dude. All right? He's been the big dog. I've been the big, dumb puppy dog in this house. I'm Scotty Pippen. You know who he is? If y'all are trying to come at Michael, that's not okay. You guys, as the Troika, had to choose three guys to bring into the Inquisition, and you chose Leroy, Bananas, and Nelson. You guys gotta pick Zach. Who's it gonna be? Nelson, I'm really sorry, man. My vote's gonna be for you. All it takes is one more vote for me to go in against my boy, Devin. I definitely feel like I'm going in because I do not have an alliance with none of these guys. Kayla, how about you? Nelson didn't say my name last week when I went in against Marie, so I'm not gonna say him. Uh, I'm gonna go Bananas. All right, so that's one for Nelson and one for Bananas. But it all comes down to this. Tony, who's it gonna be? Bananas, since I started these things, man, you know I've basically looked up to you. I've learned a lot from you, and I think if you were in my position, you'd make the same choice. Me and Nelson, we haven't had the best past. So, I'm sorry, Nelson. But, uh, you're gonna have to wait a little longer to go into elimination, buddy. Bananas, my vote's for you. I could just feel the steam coming off Banana's face. He is pissed. Not only am I shocked, TJ's probably shocked. The people that are home watching this right now, I'm sure you guys are shocked. And I'm just like, I just can't believe it. It's Tony Tom, got a blue trigger. Tonight, Tony went from hero to legend. Heroes will be remembered, but a legend will never die. And Tony just cemented his place in challenge history. Let's go! Nelson and I are gonna team up. We're going to pull and then work together and pull Corey across and then race for our belt. Essentially to make sure Corey loses. Me and Nelson, we've said all day we're gonna work together. Let's be smart about this. Right when TJ blows that horn, let's run to the same point. Let's drag Shane. And um, I'm kind of looking at Nelson. But he's not really making eye contact with me. You know, I'm getting a weird vibe. Can I trust this guy? Can I not trust him? What's going on? Maybe I need to switch up my strategy too. Maybe I'm playing checkers and this is a chess game. So I'm gonna win no matter what I have to do. All right, boys, you ready? could take an hour, and the boys took a second. Go, go, go! Oh! Something's up. Yeah. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow! Nelson played them both. Good for him. Get it any way you can. Welcome to the challenge. Okay, you just played me. Nelson went behind my back, and um, I'm upset. All right, Nelson, you got to the bell first, so you're safe. Corey, Shane, you're up. Round two. I just like that. You're the sneaky claim I am. I played the middle part, bro. You played the middle part, bro. You played Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 
Get me later. Get me later, bro. I was right there. I played right there, bro. We'll get him later, Corey. Stop. Nelson was able to get to the bell because he was able to play both sides. <laughs> Nelson is the true snake. He screwed us both over. Use that anger. Use it. Are you going to split the winnings with Sarah, or are you going to take the whole entire $275,000 yourself? Um. I have learned from the best in these games. Hate weighs heavy on the heart. This is Johnny and Judas. That's what we're going to refer to this team as, OK? Back, back, uh, Whoa. Sorry. Do you do that on purpose? No. I put money above our friendship. Take this knife out of my back. We're going to Argentina! <laughs> I told you we could be friends. There's no way that I would have made it to a final and won a final without Sarah as my partner. But I feel like Adam in the Garden of Eden right now being tempted by this uh, apple hanging from a tree. It's very rare in life that you uh, have certain moments that can literally change the course of your life. Um, I've dedicated nine years of my life and uh, 13 challenges. I don't know how many I, I got left in me of these. Sarah was an amazing partner. I could not have done it without her. As far as our rivalry is concerned, I consider that completely dead. Um, there's no spite. There's no malice towards her. Um, but I need to uh, please look after myself and invest in my future. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the money and run, teacher. <sighs> All right, Bananas. Well, you just secured your spot as the one person that has made the most money on any challenge in history. $275,000, all for yourself. And Sarah, I'm really sorry, but this means that you get nothing. I'm sorry. Great job, you guys. I don't even know what to think about this. I have a guilty conscience and a heart, and I'm a normal human being, and I would split it with my partner because they couldn't get there without each other. Bananas needed her as a partner, and the fact that he didn't acknowledge that by splitting this money with her, that's ruthless. And the high road's definitely split at 50-50, but 275000 will go a long way, and he had every right to take all of it. That greedy tool, for him to take all of the money is a classic Bananas move. And I hope now that people can see him for his true colors, which is a backstabbing liar. I'm sorry, sir. I don't want to hear it, but I'm sorry. Are you gonna dance? Are you gonna cry? This is your life. I just feel like <laughs> he was played with me the whole time. I worked so hard. <sighs> I know the feeling. I'm ready to be done with this. Hunter and Ashley. <laughs> Winning the final reckoning is pure bliss. It is something that I have waited my entire life to hear. I am now a challenge champion. I'm so angry and I can't even shake their hands. I can't even say congratulations. We deserve this win. And I don't feel like Natalie and Polly have any sort of remorse that they probably just us out of a million dollars. So congratulations, but now it's the ultimate decision time. One of you scored higher than the other. The one person who's making the ultimate decision, whether they want to split the money with their vendetta or to keep the money all to yourself. And the individual winner of Final Reckoning by 31 seconds is Ashley. So Ashley, it's your decision. You either split the money with Hunter, the one that got you here, that helped you make it all the way, or 
keep the entire million dollars all to yourself. Take your time. It's a big decision. That's a lot of money. Life changing. TJ, all those things you said about all the other partners is true, but this guy's belittled me, put me down, oh slut shamed me, gosh. and also threatened my life and my family's life. I'm keeping the money. Oh my God. Duh. Oh my God. I mean, I would say I feel bad, but I don't because this was nothing compared to what I went through all season. You say walking through hell, I live through hell. Your self-worth is something you can't get back. And when someone belittles you so much. I don't know, I just don't feel like she's that good of a person. So it's hard for me to want to talk to her. My partner's crying because she regrets sleeping with Kyle. <laughs> These guys pick on us because they know that we're strong. They I know, but that's have. the thing with Hunter. I expected him to be better. I'm sick of her popping off at the mouth, thinking she can say everything she wants to at any point in time. I'm over it. I walk off. I decided there's no way he deserves this. You guys, to each and every team here, I want to apologize to all of you personally. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't throw this final. I knew that this was going to happen. I'm sorry that I didn't throw this final. We all know the right thing to do would be to split the money. But come on, guys. Hunter was an ass to her. And unfortunately, this was her final reckoning. And you got screwed, bud. Hunter, nothing you could have done differently would have changed this. Ashley doesn't even take a goddamn split second and a half. She had this plan from the moment she set foot in the final. Ashley has now taken $1 million, but also the title of biggest ass in challenge history. Oh my God, you will burn in hell for this. And karma will come at you for the rest of your entire life. I hope you know that God's got a special You've plan You've already you. threatened my life and you've threatened my family's life. What you're making is the craziest accusation. Now that slut costs me a million dollars. I'm coming for her family. Is not all what was said? I never that. said slut. I would have never done that to you. Kyle, I'm good. Slut. Now some more is for a million dollars. I'm coming for a family. Played me, you stupid bitch. You played me. That's what you told me. You played me the entire season. season. No, season you played me. You Actually, you're the craziest person here. No one can deal with you. I stood beside you Weird. the whole time. Weird. You I did went, not do this alone. I was alone. You did season. not. really, really high, but I'm feeling pretty confident. You know, I've done stuff like this before. I just need to get across, get the flag, and ring the bell. Done deal. All right, Justin, you ready? Go! Justin's fall is, oof, like he crushed the family jewel. Just will ice that down for you later, Dustin. All right, cook it, Conrad, you ready? It's clock. <laughs> She's not a happy frog. Knock the wind out of me. You guys ready? Yeah, bro. Just keep your weight low and drag yourself up, OK? Watching Evelyn do poorly kind of gives me confidence that I'm going to look much better winning. It's been fun. I don't think I've ever seen a fall that vicious. Carly comes up making the noise of perhaps like a pregnant manatee or a dying whale. Carly. 
You have no idea how bad it is to hit that water, but I pull myself together really quick. I am the kind of person that's never gonna give up. Okay, you guys got one minute left. I can't get up the wall for two reasons. The first part is it's slippery. And the second part is my helmet's falling in front of my eyes. So it's a little disheartening. Use your feet, girl. Use your feet. <laughs> Go! Get in there! Get your feet up! Grab it! I am pissed. The time is shot, so I just want to finish so that people can see us finish a challenge. Get your feet up. Don't let your knees touch it. Use your feet, girl. Use your feet. There you go. There you go. Get behind her. No, no. no. Helicopter, I don't even think about the height. I don't think about falling. Only thing I see is green, and it's not the grass. When I saw Hunter fall, I thought either he broke an ankle or he just up his spine. My adrenaline is going so fast. I'm not sure how far I fell from. Lucky to be somewhat OK right now. I can't believe that I missed the jump and I'm, I'm out of breath because it knocked, it knocked the wind out of me. I can't, Corey, I can't do this. Go. I don't care, I can't Come do on, this. Babe. Come on, babe. No. Come on, babe. Yeah, we got the farthest, I'm good. Let's do this, I'm not gonna let you fall. I'm gonna let you stand up there. I got you. <laughs> Come on, Ashley. Come on, Corey, you're doing great. Here we go. Come on. Let go. On three. One, two. <laughs> I got you, Ashley. Let's finish. We didn't come this far just to say, hey, we got the furthest. We're done. I'm trying to win. Yeah! Got it! Oh, time off. I'm getting weak. Ready? 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 Three, two, one. Go. Like they're on fire. My one hand's numb. Everything happened so fast. I'm scared. Y'all, dude. So I've got one arm. I'm trying to pedal because Corey's big ass is coming right for my head. <laughs> I'm not gonna need like any like dishes or anything like that, no? Nope. What about a shot of tequila? Is that okay right now? That I can handle. Please, just please. That I can give Is you. It... That's my girl. You didn't quit. You did it anyways. You said F it, let's go. I know she's got some some scars she'll like to show off. You know, she's wrapped up shoulder to shoulder. I got a little something, but hey, we're ready for the next challenge. And, we're ready um... to go again. If y'all want us to go again, we're ready. <laughs> yeah. Put us back up there.
I'm feeling confident. I got to get this win today because I need to be in a striker and I want to get some money in my bank account. Terrified, man. I mean, watching your best friend emerge out of the water, lifeless, it's absolutely terrifying. I slip. I'll be coming, I'll be coming. It just seems like a curse. Every season, it seems like something bad happens to Leroy. He might have really seriously injured himself, and I'm hoping that he's okay. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Get back. My heart is beating out of my chest. I'm ready to go. I'm pumped. I'm amped. I'm telling my dude, we're doing flips. We're doing barrel rolls. I want the works. Mustard and mayo. coming around for the landing and I see the strip and it doesn't look like grass. It's a dirt road filled with stones. Honestly, I'm a little nervous as this landing. sore right now my calf really tender it looks like somebody shot me in the ass with buckshot the way my shorts look afterward <laughs> look at your shorts dude <laughs> that's how he landed holy <laughs> we're floating in we do our maneuver to line up for this runway but i think we're coming down a little hot jordan What the? We just crash landed. Skydiving. The race hasn't even started. It hasn't even started yet. And I'm out. I'm done. Knees, shins, ankles. What if he snapped his knee? Like, what if Jordan can't compete? To have this ripped away from him right now would be horrible. I just need to move. I really want to move. So I can just walk it off. I really like to just walk it off. <sighs> no, I'm not bleeding. I'm not bleeding. It just hurt. Where are those shoes? I want out. As long as I can have shoes, I'll just walk. Are you good? I don't know. My knee. What happened? Dude, we slammed. I don't know. I haven't listened to my time. My my knees were what hit first. <sighs> Something's not right. Are you, what are you gonna do? Run. You could just bow out and you went out really cool, crash landing, skydiving, you know? Like, who's gonna fault you for that one? Or you could nut up, do this final, and they'll be like, he's a hero. He just did this on a broken leg. And that's what I'm gonna do. Today's challenge is called I'll Be There For You. As you can see behind me, we have a very beautiful lake, nice dock, but what you can't see is that there's a giant platform submerged 15 feet under that water. Now, chained to that deck are weighted chests. You and your partner are gonna start in the water. Then when I say go, one of you is gonna swim down, pick up that chest off the deck. That chest cannot touch that deck ever again. So you're gonna hold it as long as possible. Now, at any moment, your partner can swim down and relieve you so that you're able to swim to the surface and take a breath. You guys are gonna be trading places, handing off this chest. As soon as the chest touches the floor or both of your heads are above water, your time is stopped and that's your, that's your score. And the two teams with the longest time will be battling it out in one final round. The team that wins that final round will win today's challenge. 
but I'm going first, and I'm mad because <laughs> I can't see what other people are doing, and I can't hear their comments after they go. Being picked first sucks. Immediately, it's like you're getting stabbed with a thousand cold knives. It's just really a bad situation. I'm putting a lot of faith in Luke, and I hope that he's going to be able to pull his own weight. You ready? Go! Okay, Brandon, you guys are out? Like an idiot, I just dive down and drink a lot of water. As soon as I touch it, I know that I'm not going to last long. So instead of, you know, killing myself, I just let the chest go. I just, I can't hold it. The feeling of, of drowning is not a fun one. Running out of air underwater, anybody panics. Okay, you guys are done. Good job. Don't stop, guys. Come on. You're doing great. Here you go. Turn on. Chad seems a little bit out of it, and and that's scary, man, because that's that could be a 35, 40 foot fall on an on the water, man. Water becomes concrete. My head is spinning, my head is throbbing. Colors are very distorted. Everybody looks very dark, but the trees look extremely fluorescent, like this bright fluorescent green. Chad, you're almost there. Turn and kick. Let's go, Chad. Go, Chad. Oh, so here. Oh. Honestly, I'm so right. dizzy right now. Are you feeling any pain? Or is it just nausea? It's really nauseated and my head hurts. OK. And the problem. colors seem really weird. OK. Chad looks like a zombie. His skin is very pale. He has no pupils at all. But I'm thinking, this is really serious. One person's going to start on that rock over there. And when I say go, they're going to jump in, swim to those balls. They're then going to dive down with the ball, deposit the ball into a net, come back up, and tag the red buoy right there. Then another person is going to jump in, do the same exact thing. You're going to continue this process over and over again until a treasure chest floats to the surface. You're then going to drag it over to the finish line as fast as you can. Big jump. Are the challenges I thrive on. Thousand percent, I'm more nervous about the swimming. I mean, I just gotta keep going, try to keep my pace, and not drown. All right, Jenny, Ninja, you guys ready? I will have a heart attack in the water before I stop. I'm like Terminator, I'm like a machine. Once you program me to do something, I'm doing it to the end. Come on, Jen. Let's go. Jenny is proving herself time and time again. She's going to be a force to be reckoned with on this challenge and future challenges to come.
realise is that this is a swimming competition because she's doing some sort of weird backwards dance and no one really knows what's happening. She's going the wrong way. This way, Ninja, this way! She's throwing it, dude. If one leg is stronger than the other and it's kicking, it's going to put you in a circle. When it comes to swimming, Bro, she, has, she has a life jacket on. There is no way Ninja is this poor of a swimmer. Ninja is either throwing this challenge so that we lose on a guy's day or she is out there having a stroke. She has a life jacket on. My nephew is three and he can swim better than that. This is basically no performance. Ninja swims like a piece of driftwood and it's a guy's elimination day. So hopefully we can get the win. Yes, Ninja. This water feels like molasses. I'm trying to follow one little cloud, but that cloud is lying to me. What the heck is going on right now? Um, the boat's that way, honey. Jesus Christ, Okay, tonight you guys are playing crunch. Begin, each player is gonna be positioned on their bamboo in a crunch position with 40 pounds of weight on your chest. Now that's not gonna be very easy, but the only option that you have is to release your ab muscles, dunking you underwater upside down. Either way, it's not gonna be a party. Crunch is a dunk tank that you will be hanging over upside down. You're gonna need a lot of leg and ab muscles. Basically, just don't drown. You decide you wanna quit and wanna give up, pull your emergency release valve, and you're automatically done. Person that lasts the longest will win tonight's elimination round, win the other person's money, and stay in the game. Loser goes home empty-handed. And tonight, we're starting with the girls. So Johanna, Sarah, get ready. I feel like the only way to go into a ruin is with confidence, because I think the person who gives up in their mind first is the person who's going to lose. Sarah really wants to be here. I you know, didn't know if I really wanted to be here, but I do know that I want that money. All these games are mental, and I just got to give it my all. Champions, you ready? Challengers, you ready? Go! Joey, you both are at the same place. Just stay focused. Watching Johanna, I'm a little worried because she seems like she doesn't have a position on the water, whereas Sarah seems to be using the water as a tool to keep her above. Good job. Good job, Joe. Stay tough. I don't feel anything in the ab crunch zone. It's more just me holding myself up with my legs, taking deep breaths, and relaxing. Take a shot of I think everybody kind of has a feeling that my head is not there. I just don't want to let them down, you know? I don't want them to think that I'm just, like, rolling over and just letting Sarah beat me. Good job, Joe! Stay tough! Stay tough, Joe! Stay tough! Stay tough, Joe! Just hang. Good job, Joe! Stay strong! Watching Johanna submerge underwater and pull the cord is devastating because I realize I'm stuck with the crazy boys and I'm sad because I've lost a friend here. Can I win? Yeah, you're going. Sarah Dawson, awesome. I'm glad we have somebody that motivated and excited to be here because God knows the rest of us want to shoot ourselves in the face. Congratulations, Sarah, on winning tonight's elimination round. You're still in the game. You get Johanna's bank account directly deposited into your individual bank account. Go ahead and rejoin your team. Now I've got a ton of money in my bank account, and I feel so good. Nobody else I wanted yeah, to get my more closer than you, <laughs> Okay, guys, it's going to be Las Vegas versus St. Thomas in a mental game. And tonight, you guys are playing water torture. Now, you've seen this before, but I'll explain it again. All right, as you can see, there are two giant water tanks, and there are two giant puzzles. This is a good old-fashioned game of memory. Each of them is connected by a rope system, because one of you guys is going to be hanging from one end, while the other one is hanging from the other end of that rope by their ankles. Now, when I say go, the guy hanging from their ankles is going to pull themselves down the line into the tank, which will, in turn, raise their partners up. Now, the further you go down in this tank, the higher your partner goes up. And the longer you hold your breath, the longer they have to memorize that top puzzle. All right? And when you come up for air, that'll in turn lower them back down so they can start recreating the puzzle at the bottom. The first team to complete their puzzle will stay in the game 
win tonight's elimination round, and go back to the house and go for the big money. All right, it's getting late in the game, guys. You don't want to go home now. You're so close to the money. Good luck, you guys. Hey, Justin, how's Megan? Uh, Megan, Megan for the birds. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready? Sure. Go! Go down up a little. Yeah, I went all the way to the top. Go down, look, go up a little bit. All we're gonna try and do is just take care of the top pieces first and then work our way down. This way I can exert as least amount of energy as I have to towards the end. The more I'm pulling down closer to the bottom of this tank, the harder it's getting. And holding your breath is even harder after you've given everything you got just to get to the bottom. All the way! Justin looks like he has this contraption in his backyard. If this is his game, he's dominating. The kid's an amphibian. That's right. That's it. You know that's right. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Justin and I are making this mental arena look so good right now. We're doing it fast, we're communicating well. It's not right yet. No? Nope. And then I'm like, oh my god. OK, let's do it. Oh. Guys, hurry up! Hurry up! All right, Rob. Good job, Rob. Rob, bring it down. Right. Straight ahead. Check look straight ahead of you. The top left one is the third. Come on, guys. Hustle up. There you go. One more down. Stay right there. One more row down. There you go. You're doing great, baby. All right. All right. Um, OK. Come on, Dustin. Come on. Come on. Go. Good. All right, Las Vegas, you win. We did it. Did it. Dustin, good job. Uh, I'm, I'm scared, but I don't want to be going into elimination, so there's no backing out now. And Jose is now going in. Salida was not able to go. Jose is trying to swim. Oh, wow, I don't think Jose can actually swim. Are you kidding me? Is he serious? Is he serious right now? Yeah, he can't swim. He can't swim. Be calm, be calm. The panic that he's feeling right now is awful. My hands are shaking, my body's shaking. I don't want to die. He actually jumped into a deep end of a pool just to try to make sure that he actually can do it. Wow, that is brave. So I know exactly what's about to happen. Jose and I, we're going into elimination. We have a giant yacht out there for you guys. You guys are going to swim from that yacht to a flag 150 feet away. Oh. Underwater. No! Today, you guys are playing Air Pocket. And here's how it's going to work. There are six Air Pockets. Now, each Air Pocket only has enough room for two people. First person is going to jump off that boat. You're going to go to that first Air Pocket. The second person is going to jump in and join them. You're going to keep on going all the way down the line until you get to that flag then swim as fast as you can all the way back to the boat. All right, guys, you ready? Go! Good job, Johnny. It's a surreal feeling. Here we are, submerged deep underwater, and the only thing keeping me alive is basically having my head in a fish tank. All right, keep your feet moving. Oh, what the? All right, Corey, you're out. Oh, move, move, move. Let's go. Like an airplane. Wow. Reading's about to be in that box. Hi, Rihanna. You're out. Go, Kara. Go. Come on, Kara. Dig, dig. Catch your breath. Big breath. Ah, f this 
challenge. I'm bailing. I tried. Let's go, egg. Let's go, fish. We know we're trying to get rid of each other. I could just reach out, just get a hold of John. All I would have to do is just drown him just a little bit. As much as Abe said that he wants to see me in a pit, I don't think he wants any part of that. Plus, if he threw this, it would totally shoot holes in Abe and Mike's claims of being these upstanding, noble gentlemen that play this game the right way. Strangle him while he's swimming. We've got these GoPros strapped on. We're swimming. There's air tanks. This is cool, you know? It feels like John and I are on some kind of like Navy SEAL mission. I might not escape this time. just round after round after round, and these guys are absolutely beating the out of each other. It's like a street fight, and neither one of these guys is gonna ever give up. All right, girls, you ready? want to stay in the game. You guys ready? Now I'm starting to see the relationship that Cam and I have in the house is kind of weird. She's the only girl that's in my alliance. We've never even spoken game. I think it's just obvious that she's my number one and I'm her number one. as an assassin. That's just all I'm here to do. I'm not here to win any money. I'm just here to f with everyone else's game. Hold up. Killer Cam is out now. I'm ready. Cam, body her. Girl, you better give it, because I ain't going to give up. All right, girls, the score is one nothing, Tori. Cam, you got to win this one to stay in the game. You girls ready? Cam. go either way now. Whoever wants it the most, they ain't gonna send me home on my first elimination. Whew. Girls ready? Next point wins. Girls ready? Go.
That's yours! This is what Nani's been asking for, for as long as I can remember, to get her hands on Teresa. So get your popcorn ready, because this is going to be a dog fight. All right, Teresa and Donnie. Teresa, you guys got a one-point lead. You win this, you go straight to the finals. Nani, you need this point to stay alive. With this elimination, anything goes, and I'm going for it. I just want to toss this girl around, because she's my worst enemy, and I need to win this. Are you ready? You got this, Nani? Let it go, Nani. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Nani. Nani takes Teresa and just hip checks her. And Teresa hits the ground so hard, I actually feel the ground shake. There you go, roll over, Teresa. Once you get it on your stomach, there you go, Teresa. There you go, Nani. There's your whole body on her, Teresa. Hey, girl, your body weight on her. Pull, Nani. Lean back, Nani. Hold on, Nani. Hold on, Teresa. Roll it towards your head, Nani. I can feel how much energy she's really putting into this, and sooner or later, I know she's just gonna kind of gas out. There you go. There you go, Teresa. Fight. You're kicking me? No, 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 kicking, no kicking. You're not kicking me? All right. There you go, there you go, fight. Keep forcing that knee down. Yeah, 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 yeah! Put her foot on her face! Got her foot on her face! I don't care that I'm kicking her in her face. Hopefully, knock out a tooth or something. Sorry, not sorry. Relax. She's biting me. You got your knee on the face, bitch! There you go, Teresa. These girls are doing every dirty move in the book, kicking each other in the face, and it's really tough to see who has got the upper hand. Take it. That's yours. You got it, Teresa. You got one hand on it. Let it go, Nani. There you go. Just like that. Pull it. Get on top of it. How bad do you want this final? Fight. Fight, baby. There you go. Get your knee on your head. There you go. You got this, Nani. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're in the final. Yeah. You're in the final, baby. Yeah. Payday. Yeah. Payday. Pulling this X away from Nani yeah. wraps everything up into a giant present. To beat them and make it to a final, this is epic for me. All right, girls, you ready? Susie ready. Kimberly ready? Being in the ruins really sucks, but I really want thirty thousand dollars in my personal bank account, so I'm just gonna hold on for dear life. It's really brutal and exhausting. I'm really surprised how difficult it is to pull the rope out of Kimberly's hands. It's a new and Yeah! Fuck the cover! No one gets out of line! Watching Kim and Susie go at it is quite impressive. They're working very hard. They're tired. They're bleeding. This is a hard one. Rope. Keep that arm in there, Susie. Go! Go! That's it. Who was it? I don't know. That was close. I'm nervous because they both hit the bell, it seems like, at the same time. All right, boys. Marlon and Jordan won that first round. So Marlon and Jordan, one more, and you guys win. Leroy and Ty, 
You guys have to win to stay in the game. There's no way that I'm gonna just let Marlon overpower me like this. Division one football player or not. Let's finish it, let's do it. Let's finish it. I'm pretty sure that Jordan and Marlon have this in the bag. I'd be shocked if Leroy and Ty pull anything out of their ass. You guys ready? I don't know what happened. Who set a flame on the Leroy and Ty's ass, but Ty looks like he gets shot out of a cane. Ty, get it, Ty! 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 Watching Ty and Leroy push back Jordan and Marlon is awesome. It's one step closer to getting this arrogant little out of the house. This jungle is so nerve wracking. I want to turn around right now and I want Nani to just tell me when it's over. All right, boys, the score is one to one. Next point wins. Woo! I've never been more nervous in my entire life. This third round, it's a toss up. Nasty, nothing gets past me. Me and my boy working, sweating like some athletes. Check your back sheet, then check the last heat. This is Pat's teeth, then we kill him when the traps me. Ty is right next to the bell. Leroy's got Jordan pinned. It's like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? Ty's literally three feet from the bell. We're sitting here thinking at any moment he's gonna break free and ring this bell. Going into our first elimination round and winning is just more on cloud nine, yo. Let's go, baby. We competed and we won. Like, that's the best feeling ever. Damn. Siobhan ready? Nisa ready? Go! I go bananas. And I am ready to essentially, like, fight this girl. Oh, 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 oh. I really don't know what's going on. All I know is that I see two hooks laying on the ground and Anissa and the boob girl just duking it out, not even going for rings. He's choking me! You gotta go for the hook! You gotta go for the hook! Oh, 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 oh. Don't punch me in my face next time. No, I didn't I'm punch me! Don't punch me in my face. Don't choke me. Nisa, one more. You win. Siobhan, you need to pick it up. You know what to do, ladies. You got to get in there and get it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like it. I like it. You got to go after her. Right now, we're not even wrestling to win these rings. She's swinging her fist at me. I'm kicking her. We're literally brutally fighting. No hit. Ah! No punching. Ah! No punching. Ah! No punching. Ah! No punching. Ah! You gotta go for her hug, Siobhan. 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 Joss has no idea the hell that's about to be brought upon him tonight in this ring. I don't know who any of these people are. I don't give a Derek, he looks like a little squirrel. I'm going to put this guy through his paces. Well, it feels awesome to be back, as always. I didn't think I'd be here as a mercenary. So now I got to fight off the challenge bull. I've never seen him before. I have no idea who he is. I'm going to do all the guys up here a favor and beat the out of Joss. All right, Josh, Derek, you guys ready? I think getting rid of Josh is going to do everyone a favor in this game. I mean, we've seen the guy run up the Rock of Gibraltar without taking a breath. So he is going to be a huge roadblock for all the guys in this game. I think Derek might have met his match. I see a future vendetta 
These two will either become best friends after this or never talk to each other again. All right, guys, you ready? Derek is seriously the most intense elimination I have ever seen. It's hard to watch, but it's hard to keep your eyes off. Someone could get hurt. Someone could die. <laughs> like, this is no joke right now. Let's go, get the hands on there. Let's go, boys. All right, boys, you ready? Enemy number one, and I say it proudly. I don't give a what, all of y'all gon' give it up. Hit you with a truck, they gon' have to come and scrape you up. I don't think Joss was expecting this. The fight that I've seen from Derek, this guy has zero quit. Ever. This is the hardest fought battle I have ever seen in an elimination. I've never met such an angry little person in my life. He is the most stubborn little Rottweiler, but I'm here to win, so I've got this. I wouldn't give up. You guys, this battle is way too good. I haven't seen somebody this evenly matched in a long time. So, we're gonna hang that eight. It's gonna be sudden death. First point wins. It all comes down to this. You guys ready? These guys are just absolute titans. Neither one will quit. I think they're both in a tremendous amount of pain, and I actually start to feel bad that I voted Joss into this. And if he wins, I'm gonna be in a bad spot. So I'm just hoping that he doesn't come back. Come on, Joss! Because you went out of bounds, you'll need to reset the center of the ring. Joss, you got this! Joss, let's go! You guys ready? It's just round after round after round, and these guys are absolutely beating the out of each other. It's like a street fight, and neither one of these guys is gonna ever give up. Stop, let's go! All right, guys, you ready?
Joss actually thinks it's over, but what he's done is he's left the ring and thought that Derek left the ring as well when he hasn't. So Joss is up here. That's it, that's it. It was my bad I lost. I thought we weren't out of the ring. I let go, he scored. But you know what? He put up a good fight, and so did I. So I went out with the bang. Derek, you're a monster. Today's challenge is called Backstabber. And no, you guys are not playing down here on the sand. You're playing 600 feet in the air on the top of that building. Simple challenge, guys. All you gotta do is walk the plank. Sorry, guys. You're not having a beach day, but you can walk across that building up there that's 600 feet tall. And I'm like, <laughs> no. See those three balance beams at the very top? Those balance beams are what you guys are gonna be walking on. There are three X's at the end of every beam. The left X is for the person on the left beam. The middle X is for the one in the middle. The right is for the right. The first person out there will slap an X of their choosing and drop someone from the sky. There's two types of people in this world. There's people who say they like heights, and there's liars. I am totally terrified to be up here. So uh, what I'm hoping is that either Derek or Jordan can set the fastest time on this. I've already promised both of them allegiance, so it's pretty close to a certainty that neither Jordan nor Derek is gonna drop me. I like heights. We got a great view, so that's a plus. You know, we got these butterflies going, let you know you're alive. This is, this is what you do the challenge for. This is what you come for. I need to win bad. I mean, there's a lot on the line right now. The power, the control of this game lies right here. All right, Bananas, Jordan, Derek, you ready? Oh. Woohoo! Ha! Derek got it. I'm coming for you, D. Dude, it was the closest one! I'm coming for you. I don't know what the f my whole life just flashed before my eyes, dude. I love you, man. I love you. Am I doing your dirty work? What's going on here? As you can see, there's a giant wall with a bunch of holes in it suspended over the water. And there are two bars through those holes. To begin, all four players are going to get on that platform. Two players on one side of the wall, two players on the other. Your goal is to make it from one platform to the other using only those two bars as a walkway. All right, guys, you ready? <laughs> That's good, yeah. That's perfect. Thanks, Isaac. Knowing that I could possibly fall is the scariest thing ever. You're nervous, and the wind's blowing, and the, the crane is shaking, and everybody's looking. That is nerve wracking. A little more, maybe, a little more. Leroy's got big ass feet. Let's go, Isaac. I'm looking down at the water, or trying not to, and the wind starts blowing, and all I can think of is hang on for dear life. Nice job. All right, we're getting out. Here we go, here we go. Let me know when you guys are on. We're good. Woohoo! I hate it. I'm not big on talking a big game, and being cocky. I hate it. I hate the sense of entitlement she has. Hold on. Now's the time for you to forget about all of your bad blood, because today you're going to need a lot of communication and trust. Today you're playing Give Me Some Slack. As you can see, there's a giant apparatus out here suspended 400 feet over the crashing waves. There are also some skulls hanging off the side. Your goal is to retrieve as many skulls as you can as fast as possible. Nicole and Dario, you ready? Go! Okay. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. I got you. Zach, I got you. I got you. I got you. Dar, you're fooling me. Less. Go ahead. Go ahead. She's yelling at me. I'm yelling at her. We're like two minutes into this thing, and we're already yelling at each other. I got, I got you. Justin. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. Let's go. Move on. Here we go. Come on. Come on. It's about speed. It's a race. Let's go. All right, ready? I got you. Let me know. More or less. Less. Pull it a little All right. tight. I got you. A little slack. Yeah, I got tight you. With those long fingers, baby. Let's go. Okay, a little Let's go, Nicole. Little. Hey. Woo! Good job, Nicole. Yeah. Okay, out. Tighten it. My stomach is just doing flips and flops and turns. I'm staring straight down at the ground. If Jesus wanted me to fall from the sky, he would have given me wings. Okay, a little, 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 little. Good, Good Jess. Job. Hey, back, 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 back. Johnny, back. Woo. Come on, come on. You gotta lean with me, Jesse. You gotta lean with me. Good job. Nicole. You're good, Jess. Let's go. Let's... Wait, 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 wait. Let's go. My Ready, pace, left? my pace. Dario left. pulls way too hard for my weight, and when he's yanking, I feel like I'm gonna fall. So I have to just yell at him any which way, so he understands that if he pulls me off of this, we're done. All right, here we go. Here we go. Pull it a little tight. Yeah, I got you. Tight. I got you. Don't tight. worry. Tight, tight, tight. There you go, Nicole. Okay, a little, 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 little. I'm leaning. I don't hear his voice. I don't hear anything encouraging coming out of his mouth. I don't think he has any faith in me whatsoever. Lean. Yeah. Lean. Okay. Back, 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 back. The term epic is overused a bit, but this is epic, guys. Today, you guys are gonna be playing Skybridge. Now, you're definitely gonna have to mend some fences today. As you repair a rope bridge 1,000 feet above Hermanus. But I think we should move together, right? Sure. Because then it'll be a, more tension, or no? I don't know. I think I should get down there, and then you should come. OK. I'm going to be a scared little Zach and Amanda, Joss and Sylvia, you guys ready? Hey, eyes. Come on, babe. A little bit more, so a little bit more. All right, Amanda, come on. I'm coming. Reach out and get it around that thing. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's not too tight, huh? You gotta wrap it around more, babe. I have to undo it to do that. I'm just gonna have to chill, bro. Today's biggest challenge is convincing Amanda that she's not worthless. Let like yours out. Like, you can't. Amanda, you're gonna have to stop saying I can't. Shut up. Quit flopping around like it's Joss's limp. Let yours out. Joss never has a limp. Five minutes, guys. Let's go. I can't get it. Dude, I'm gonna drop. That's your not. It's ridiculous. Just try. Dude, look how loose that one is. Chill the f out. I can't. Come on, Amanda. Shut up, Zach. If I would rather jump off a cliff than be Zach's partner, that has to tell you something. Oh my gosh, you're killing me. All right, Marie, Leroy, let's go. I'm feeling confident. I'm not afraid of the water. I need to do this for my team. Cam and Jemmy just blew it. There is $500,000 at stake, and it is very important to win. I'm feeling confident. I got to get this win today because I need to be in a striker, and I want to get some money in my bank account. in the water face down. Not swimming, not moving. I'm freaking out right now. It's back, yo. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. I'm terrified, man. I mean, watching your best friend emerge out of the water, lifeless, it's absolutely terrifying. Now slip. How are you coming? It just seems like a curse. Every season, it seems like something bad happens to Leroy. He might have really seriously injured himself, and I'm hoping that he's okay. Get back, get back, get back. All right, everybody. Welcome to Panama City. Panama, 
This is your first challenge on Battle of the X's 2. You guessed it, we're in a big city with very big buildings. You guys are gonna be going from one of these tall buildings to the other on a tightrope that is suspended 500 feet in the air. The challenge just comes up with new ways to just instill a fair god in us. I love this stuff, man. This is crazy. It's gonna come down to communication. Hopefully we can bring it together. Our communication and our relationship was above average until the end, but when things were good, I thought we communicated very well. Yeah, and so you stopped talking to me. Until I stopped talking to her, <laughs> then they were really bad. So you ready? Outside of the game, I do not trust Wes whatsoever, but when it comes to money in a competition, I'm his partner, so I have to trust him. Kind of relying on him right now to not drop me. I'm really hoping that Teresa can knock this out fast because I need to be put back onto solid ground as soon as possible. All right, Zach, Johnny, Teresa, Wes, you ready? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, Zach, hold on. Johnny looks like a baby deer on ice. Her knees are wobbling, she's swinging all around. This is pretty pathetic. Good job, so good. Like, oh. She's falling quite a bit. And at first, that's really scary because I'm spending a lot of time curling her back up. What is happening is every time she's falling, she's actually pulling me. She's falling in the right direction. You going, girl? I can't pull you. Zach is gigantic, and Johnny's arms are like toothpicks. So there's no way she's dragging him across that rope. Nice job, Teresa. Now I'm gonna pull. Zach, no, no, don't pull the rope. What are you doing? I'm holding you up. No. Oh my God. No. If this is any indication of how this Battle of the X's 2 is going to go for me, it's not going to be very good. No, no, no. Little, little step, little step, little step. Keep going. Keep going. This is definitely a hard challenge. Not only are you suspended in the air, but you're working with someone who you don't really get along with. I just feel a lot of pressure. Am I there? No, no, no. Both feet! Both feet! <laughs> Get in the circle, get in the circle, get in the circle. Oh, I'm paired up with Kaylee for this swim, and I'm pretty confident we're not gonna be any trouble here. I know there's other people in the house which are worse swimmers than her, so all she needs to do is go faster than the slowest person. Kaylee's really, really struggling, and therefore, my best friend is struggling, and he might be about to get cut. You have to put your gun in the hole! Come on, sprint! We are still waiting for Kaylee to get back. I mean, I have never seen somebody swim with so little intensity. I'm like, dude, we're in a challenge. Like, let's go. Touch, touch, touch! touch. Oh, it's so hard to gauge who has come last, who is where, because everyone's set off at different times. And we've just got to wait and pray when it lasts. The pair that swims the slowest is gone. If I get sent home because of someone else's ability, because they can't swim, I'll be generally gutted. It's Joss and Kaylee. Oh, oh my god. I'm in shock. How are we as slow as Cam and Leroy? They can't. They can't swim. All right, so take care, you guys. You're still here, right? I'm so sorry, Joss. I'm feeling super disappointed. I've let Joss down, and I unfortunately lost our place in the game, but. The only thing I can do is get better at swimming and come back stronger. Karma is a mother effing because Georgia would have kicked everyone's butt in this swim. She would have crushed this, but you decided to protect Kaylee. Look, you let Kaylee pull to put your own teammate in. You f up. You f up. I trusted you. It's disgusting. Josh, that's what you get. 
That's what you get for protecting somebody who can't perform. I thought we were a lot faster than that. Rogan, please bring this home. You're the last British standing in the whole game, and we've torn each other apart. All the best players on our team saw elimination. Theo, me, Jenny, Georgia. I would have loved to swim with Jenny or Georgia today. You have a powerhouse of a team, Tony and Johnny Bananas, going up against the true underdog team of the season, Natalie and Polly. Tonight is going to be one epic elimination. OK. Yep. For me to give us a shot, I got to eat everything on that table and just hope Polly taps out. I would squirt milk in my eyes straight out of a cow teat at this point for a million dollars. So no, I'm not scared about the spilled milk. I'm scared about some tiny little vertically challenged Venezuelan holding their arms up for longer than me. That's what I'm scared of. I'm just getting nervous. It'll be all right. Just get your head in the game. Delicious milk and cookies. Yes, yummy. All I know is I'm going against the human garbage disposal known as Tony. Don't think that I can hold my arms for that long, OK? You better eat those cookies and drink that milk so quick. I'm a competitor. We're going against the best team here. Mm -hmm. I want to beat them just for that reason. I want to put that notch on my rookie belt. Yep. OK, let's get you both All players on the platform, arms up. ever let milk go bad in a fridge and opened it and smelled it now think about drinking that it is the most disgusting thing i have ever put in my mouth the way they're drinking this they have to glug it you can see the chunks in this milk as they're eating it this is revolting there you go tony there you go tony if you gotta vomit make some room oh, don't fill them up huh in the final, I would love for Johnny and Tony to run it with us. I think they're deserving. And Tony has put on a few pounds, so he might not be the best person when it comes to endurance. And any kind of leg up that I could have on the competition, that would be beneficial. This is going to be all about you, Johnny. The one to live is an untold story. I'm not watching Polly and Tony eat. I'm just staying zoned in, focused, and concentrated on not dropping my arms. I will stay up as long as I need to. I want to taste love and pain. want to feel pride and shame. I don't want to take my time. I want to live Just better than I can say. That was wrong. It could have been me. It could have been me. It could have been me. Jesus Christ. Wow. I feel so much better. <laughs> this guy, Paul, is also a psychopath. I'm impressed, dude. I didn't think he'd be able to hang with me, man. But you mother are going home. If I got anything to do about it, I'm never going to stop. Me neither. I'm never going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to convince myself that whatever pain I'm in, Natalie is experiencing the exact same kind of pain. Although every time I look over at her, it looks like it's not even bothering her. Hey, Polly, you pissed if I go over there and tickle Natalie right now? Natalie, it's over. I got about like 20 cups. So stop torturing yourself. Bye. <laughs> Hearing Polly throw up so much is surprisingly motivating me to keep my arms up because I don't want to let him down. We're both in extreme pain. It's almost as if I can feel it in the air that tonight is mine and Natalie's night and we're punching our ticket to this final. Natalie, it's on you, baby. All night you got this. I'm finished. Right, Tom. Right, Tom. Right, Tom. Good job, Tony. Guys, it's down to you two. I'm caught in the middle of two teams that were the only two teams that I ever really had in this whole game. But Johnny and Tony would be a tough team in the final. So kind of rooting on Natalie here. All right, guys. Tony and Polly have finished all the milk and cookies that we had in South Africa. So now it comes down to who can last longer, bananas or Natalie?
the pain begins to get unimaginable. It's not just my shoulders that are killing me. It's essentially my entire body. This is all you, baby. Laser focus. I'm not putting my money on anybody because bananas and Natalie look like actual statues. This is gonna be a long night. This is incredible. We've got to be here for two hours at least. Armageddon tired. <laughs> <laughs> all night, Natalie. Mind over matter. Many dollars on the line. This is all you. Where's your focus, baby? These two are so damn stubborn that even standing next to each other this close, they still have nothing to say to each other. It's a crazy relationship. I don't know what they have, but it keeps things entertaining. Guys, it's been over four hours. You guys are completely killing it. We'll be here all night long. I love it. Natalie and I are just standing here suffering in silence. I'm just trying to not be in this moment. I'm trying to do anything and everything that I can to ignore this pain. My entire back is essentially in one big cramp. It's been five hours, guys. Five hours. I just keep thinking about my past, my present, and where I want to be in my future. And I'm letting everything motivate me. I'm not letting my arms drop no matter what. Five and a half hours. You guys are setting records. But I'm going to need you both to turn around. That'll tighten up your slack and make it even more difficult. Good job. I think everyone underestimated the stubbornness of Natalie and myself. And essentially what this has now become is a battle of wills between me and her. I see the look in his eyes. I see the look in Tony's eyes. They know that Just fall, you mother Fall. 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 This bucket that just got dumped on my head is essentially my entire challenge season being dumped on my head. It's just that moment of realization where it's over, you know, and you realize it's over, and it was just a culmination. All right, Natalie and Paula, you guys went to the final. Disbelief. Natalie and I just pulled off the hugest win of the season so far. I am officially in the final as a rookie. That's a huge accomplishment. Only other thing left to do is win this bitch. Way to go out. You never want to find yourself in the last elimination. I ran into an immovable Venezuelan object. Only human being I've ever met that's as stubborn as I am, and I had to stand next to her for five hours. I'm having the worst back spasms I've ever had in my entire life, dude. I literally can't stand up. We came in here, vendettas, and we had a bad past and stuff like that, and the shit that we've been through together, like, I'm happy to call this man my friend again. I'm sorry. No, don't be, dude. Don't be. You gave it everything you got. All right, everybody, welcome to the final duel. Tonight, we're going to have a male and a female duel. So first up is the guy. So I need CT and Brad. Come on in. Come on, guys. Come on, Brad. <laughs> you're on this side over here, Brad. All right, CT, Brad, you guys, tonight, you're going to be playing Push Me. As you guys seen this game before, when I say go, you guys are going to push that pole as hard as you can, trying to retrieve that flag in the middle. When you reach that flag, you're going to unhook the carabiner, get disqualified if you rip the flag off. So unhook the carabiner. Whoever does this without ripping the flag will win tonight's duel. Stay in the game and receive this T-Mobile Sidekick 3. But more importantly, you're going to be staying in the game, going straight to the finals for 150 Gs. Let's just get this done. Both of you guys are great competitors. It's been a pleasure, for sure, no matter what happens. All right, so good luck, guys. Let's go. I mean, this is as ready as you can possibly be for something like this. I'm going to give it everything I have, absolutely everything I have, and that's all you can do. This pole is my whole focus right now. It's a bone rack. It's got no legs. That's so why I picked Push Me. I got more stamina, I'm bigger, I'm stronger. It's just a matter of time before he quits. All right, guys, get ready. 
He is literally stomping around like a little kid who was not given a sucker at lunchtime. It's like you wanted him to win. He's a low life and needs to be kicked off this thing. It's a weak wing, man. You know it's weak tape. Bro, I said go for the carabiner only. I went for the carabiner. All right. Get my hand on the You carabiner. went for it, but it didn't work out for you, bro. Handle it. Oh, it's enough. Shut him in the dust. What are you going to do? What? You're a little punk. No game shot. You grow up. Shut the up. You know you're going home. Shut the up. This is where it's game time, you know? I've dominated the regular season. This is the playoffs, and I got the championship right in front of me. I'm the best competitor here. Everybody else needs to be worried about how fast I do this. All right, Paul, are you ready? Go, go baby! Dove in, head first. Style points, maybe. Smart decision, definitely not. Yes, baby, come on! You're there! This is it, just climb as fast as you can, baby! As fast as you can, get up! Man up, man up! Didn't know that was a factor. Okay, now we know it's a weird net. Poorly, this showed how not to swing across that rope today. Go, baby, it's okay, get up! I hit the water hard, I'm freezing. I can't feel my body. My forearms aren't working right now. Go, Poole! Pull yourself back up for it! You want that final, that's what you came for. Put that ball up! One foot up, one foot up! It's those feet, stand up on your strong legs! Jump with drop, don't jump, jump swing. Oh. It's okay, baby, keep pushing. If it's hard for you, it's gonna be hard for everybody. It's just tough to watch because he's starting to freeze down there and he's obviously in pain. It is not the way that you want to see something like this start out. You got this, Polly, you got it. Ah! You've got to keep going. You're going for $750,000. My biggest concern is what's going on in Polly's head. And I'm worried that because he missed it two times, he might be freaking himself out. And all I can do is cheer him from the sides and just say, Polly, you have this. You have to keep going. All right, Polly, you got 10 minutes. You got 10 minutes to finish, bro. Don't quit. You can do it. Hold with your hands. Stand the f up on those legs. You're strong. Like this! Like this! Perfect! Hold on to that knot when you're ready. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Now we have to jump. He needs to go back down and up again. At this point, my body 
body's frozen, my fingers are numb, my feet are numb, but maybe if I can get this ring across, I still got a shot at this. You can't do it. Now you have to fight. Run, baby, this is it. Maybe this challenge is harder than we all initially expected because the dude is a pretty fierce competitor. And if he looks that bad doing it, then uh, I don't know. I don't know. Grab onto that rope like you're grabbing onto the money. I think I have a grip, and my body just seizing up from shaking from how cold I am. I'm seeing my perfect season fall through my fingertips, literally. Right up there. You're dead. Dead. Everything you got in the last one. Are you done? Finish it out, babe. You're almost there. It's terrifying to see it fall like that. Yeah. And it's just killing me that there's nothing I can do to help him. moments of my life. The only thing that is keeping me from staying in that water is my own will and desire and pride. Ah. Ah. I'll pull you. Two more minutes. Ah. Get it done. Ah. He's screaming in pain. And to watch a man who's so strong and such a fierce competitor look so helpless is awful for everyone here. Ah. Ah. Scream through it, Polly. Yeah. Part of me is happy because now we just gotta go slow and get it done. But part of me is like, it's terrible to watch. Terrible to watch. We originally thought that this was gonna come down to seconds as to who is going to lose. And now it changes the entire dynamic of what the rest of the guys have to do, which is essentially just complete it and Polly goes home. Oh, damn it. I mean, this. All I needed was for one more person to fall. <laughs> You're gonna have this chance again, and nobody's gonna beat you. After everything we've been through all season, I should have rushed it. <laughs> that up so bad. <laughs> Polly, big upset. You couldn't get it done. This ends your time here on the challenge, my friend. Good luck, everyone. Thank you so much for everything. I've I eliminated tried. all my enemies. I protected my girlfriend. I made it here. The $750,000 is right there. I tasted it. I tasted it. All I had to do was make it to the final. And I failed. I've been through four gauntlets already. We've gone 4 0. And now I'm going in another final men's gauntlet against Timmy. And I'm praying. And I don't lose. All right, veterans, it comes down to this. Are you guys ready? Go! Go! Go, Timmy, you're the new team captain. Congratulations. Good job today. Derek, there's no words. Good job, Derek. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You went out like a champion and, and a captain and on your own terms, so that's it. Uh, you got 20 minutes to get your stuff and uh, you're a champion, man. Good job, good try. Welcome everybody to the final duel. Now, as we all know, Landon and Diem, they're in the duel no matter what. So we need to find out who they're gonna be challenging in the duel. We'll start off with Landon. Who do you want to take in the duel with you? Brad. All right, Brad, come on down. Today, you're playing back off. Again, each player is going to start inside this circle with a hook attached to your back. There's also a ring suspended behind each player. Your goal is to retrieve that hook and attach it to their ring. First player to do this twice wins today's duel. Receive this kicker IK500 MP3 docking station. But more importantly, whoever wins today's duel is automatically getting paid. Loser goes home empty handed. You guys came too far to let that happen. All right? I am so wound up right now. I can't stand myself. We got a lot of adrenaline going through me right now. It's like today's duel is for $100,000. Come on, boys! Go here, Joel! I'm planning on putting everything I have into this. My fiance went home, and I'm trying to win this money for us, and I'm trying to win this challenge for myself, so I'm getting it done. All right, Landon, you ready? Yeah. Brad, you ready? Go! <laughs> I end up grabbing his hook. Landon. And as I'm going to put it on my ring, he's going for my body. Landon, you got his ring. You got to go. Landon's not supposed to be tackling me at this point. That's not the game today. That's bull. You got to go for his ring, bro. You got to hook it to the ring, dude. That's mine. Yeah. You don't know the rules of the game? TJ said before, once you have the hook, you must go for your ring. Obviously, it's not a wrestling match. You get the hook, you put on the other person's ring, period. All right, Brad, you have one point, one more. You're in the finals. Landon, you need this one to stay in the game. Landon, you ready? Yeah. Brad, you ready? Go! <laughs> get back in the circle. Get in the circle. Get in the circle, boys. You gotta go out for the hook. In the circle, boys. In the circle. Let's go, boys. Come on. Right now. Let's go. All right, so Brad, you have one point. Landon, you have one point. Whoever gets this point wins the duel, goes to the finals. It's all coming down to one point. We're both fired up going into this, knowing that this is for everything. Landon, you ready? Yeah. Brad, you ready? Go. <laughs> Go for the ring! Go for the ring, Brad! Brad! Oh, he got it! He got it! I got it! Brad won. I got it! Brad, won. I got it. <laughs> Brad pulls out this tricky little move that he just knocks Landon's ring and kind of goes flying all over the place. He gets a little discombobulated and loses. I should have been able to clip that on there. And that's the hardest part of this, is knowing that the game is in your hands. It's not easy. It sucks. It really, really, really sucks. All right, Brad. Well, they're not going to give it to you for free. You got some more wounds, man. Go ahead, rejoin the group. You're in the finals. Congratulations. Thank you Great so job. Much. I'm going to be real honest. Part of me is feeling bad for Landon. At the same time, it's a game that we play. Not only am I guaranteed $15,000, but I have a much better shot at $100,000. All right, Landon, unfortunately, this ends your time here in New Zealand, but there's never been a classier player on the duel, so good job, man, for that. So everybody, go ahead and say your goodbyes to Landon. I think the hardest thing for me right now is the fact that I felt like I was the best one here. After winning, you know, more than half of the challenges, I felt like I deserved to be in the finals. And I blew it. But when I look back on what I got here, there is really nothing better. Because if I would have been at home, I would never have gotten this experience. And for